Hello aspirants. Introducing the Quick Revision Classes program for UPSC Civil Services Prelims Examination 2024 exclusively by Vision IAS. It is designed to provide a targeted relevant and time-efficient classroom revision before the UPSC prelims. Based on our intelligently designed document popularly known as Quick Revision Module, we have structured innovative 32 classes which focus on high-yielding topics across core subjects for smart learning. Gain experience with thematic coverage across essential GS subjects such as polity, economy, environment, geography, history and more with our quick revision module, developed for maximum recall and retention. Our program includes personalized one-to-one -one mentorship, crafted to navigate you through your revision journey with precise preparation inputs. Moreover, regularly assess your preparation and adapt with our online sectional mini-tests, designed for performance tracking and improvement. Start your UPSC revision journey towards success with us on 12th April and gain motivation enhance exam readiness and efficient management of time and resources. Register now at our website. For further any queries, reach out to us at 8468020220 or enquiry at visionis.in. Your success is our pride. Step up your UPSC CSE prep with tech-enabled expertise. Unpack the UPSC CSE curriculum with the GS Foundation course 2025 at Vision IS Delhi. Leap into a new era of learning with animations, interactive sessions videos, and demystify the toughest topics. Experience unmatched flexibility with live online classes, real-time doubt clearing and an extensive library of recorded lectures and educational materials. Step into the world of UPSC CSE preparation and navigate your way to success. Join the Vision IS Delhi DS Foundation course 2025 batches commencing. 23rd April, 5.30 pm. 30th April, 1 pm. Hello aspirants! Ever feel like you're always one step behind in your UPSC prelims preparation, no matter how much you study? In a process where every mark counts, are you sure you're not missing out on something that could give you the forehand knowledge? Imagine a method so effective that every one in three of the top 50 UPSC selected candidates attempted it. This method is none other than the Vision IS Abhyas prelims. Let's hear from them. Um, Abhyas, I appeared for Abhyas 2022. Ka. So I was associated with their Abhyas, both prelims and mains. This is the right moment. With this exposure, you gain the right dose of practice, detailed analysis of your performance and awareness about successful strategies. The experience you've been looking for? It's right here with Abhyas prelims 2024. Don't let this opportunity lie unused. So, hi, good evening. All well? Chalo, fir tum log aage. But anyways, good thing is that ki ancient and medieval may ek acha revision ho jayega. So, uh, and also we'll be able to see few things which are very well placed in this material which we have created. Then, so, and before going ahead with the session, I would just say one word that whatever sources you are referring for the previous year paper, I would say leave it for seven year paper, go with it. Because uh, that particularly in this section, the culture and the ancient medieval, is with dono me the pictures and the images and the additional material that we have added, that's going to be highly uh, useful. And you might get some question in the exam from the material itself. Okay? So, chalo, without wasting the time, uh, let's start with it. But under, uh, one more disclaimer is that kal ka jo session hai, that will be one o'clock. Take hai? Wo paanch baje nahi hai. So, <laughs> remember this thing. So, chalo, let's start with the uh, material itself. So, just give me one minute. 
So now, is it fine? Visible to all of you? Uh, because it will be easier for me to change the uh, screen. Otherwise, last time ki tarah hath aise aise karna tha. So let's understand that in last seven year paper, what all uh, topics and how many questions were asked from these all topics. There could be a little bit of here and there. For example, that what we consider in a particular section can be claimed in the other section also. So as a ancient medieval mein hota hai, say for example, let's suppose that some question is there in the Buddhism. So Buddhism is also coming into the some part of the history or historical development or architecture also. So usko architecture mein bhi kabhi cover kar liya, kabhi ancient medieval mein bhi cover kar liya. So now understand. So last seven year paper, how many questions are there? Total 76. It means that average is coming around 8. 8 man ke chalo, 7.6 or average is 8. And moreover, as you see that ancient history, 14 question and ancient and art and culture quite overlapping. Then, then uh, medieval history, 18 questions. But then understand that medieval history, 18 question, equal number of allocation has been there to the the uh, dynasties of the Indo uh, that Islamic nature and so as the dynasties which are the regional nature. Then art and culture total 44 is given but then some questions are there in this part also. So generally that you can say or you can we can say that ki 5 se 6 question art and culture tha paper mein. Then uh, the division in the ancient history. So Saat year mein as you can see Indus Valley civilization se 3 questions, 3 questions. Then Maurya period, four questions. And moreover, Maurya period questions are majorly based from their rock edicts. Okay? Their major rock inscriptions, rock edicts. And so though that is a factual part, but uh, if I go little back, se bhi piche chale jaun, okay? if I go back to the 15 year, so I may find nine questions. Okay? So it means that that is a factual thing, but you need to memorize it. There is no escape from that particular part if you want that you perf want to perform well in this section. Then come to the Gupta period. Gupta is also coughing repeatedly asked question. So in fact Gupta bhi if I go little back so from here also from the last uh, 10 year 8 questions were there. Then significant places 3 question. Medieval history pe aa hai. So in medieval history that early medieval kingdom uh, that let's start with the early medieval kingdom. I'll give you the classification also. So early medieval kingdom, which are the early medieval kingdoms? 700 onwards are the early medieval kingdoms. Then, So for example, that after the age of the Hertzwardhan, the kingdoms are in the early medieval kingdoms. So Usme, Pratihar, Gurjar, Pal, okay? then Rashtrakuta. So, so they would be there. And Chauhanas will be there in the last part of the early medieval, before the medieval. Then, then uh, three questions from the Delhi Sultanate. So, particular period 1206 to 1526 and with the Delhi Sultan related initiative. Then ek aur cheez hai, hai? Jase, for example, suppose that I am saying that Delhi Sultan three question, but some overlap could also be there. What is overlap? That a question which are options hai. and in four options, one of the option is related to Delhi Sultanate and one of the option is related to Mughal period. So where I'll be keeping, I'll be keeping it in both. Getting it then. So this type of the thing is also there, regional kingdom. So what we are calling regional kingdom, the medieval history, particularly uh, which, uh, that Kakatiyas, take a Hoysalas. So they will be in this part. And Vijayanagar kingdom in last seven years, two questions, but then Das Sal mein, there has been five questions. Then uh, Bhakti Sufi, uh, Bhakti Sufi can be claimed in the art and culture also. But anyways, it is kept over here. So that goes over there also, here also. So Bhakti Supi is a question hai and then Mughal period three questions and terminologies. What is terminologies? The keywords and the definition of the keywords. Then, then art and culture. So let's go into the art and culture part. Just give me one minute. So art and culture part and uh, chalo now I think it is gone up. Isko barabar up kar dena. So now See that this one, art and culture. So architecture, four questions are there. But then again, once again, I will say, the architecture, four questions here are mentioned. Hai. But then, what about the Buddhist architecture? It is claimed in the Buddhism also, and it is claimed in the architecture also. Okay? So numbers will increase in the architecture. Then, then Buddhism and Jainism. So let's take it both into the consideration. So Buddhism and Jainism, 10 questions. Then, miscellaneous, abhi chhodo. philosophy, say there has been one question in last seven years. Expect one question this year. 
i think it will be there in this year and important places six questions literature has been asked it has been a preference in last 7 years meaning ek saal chhod ke har saal kam se kam ek question hai literature se then and majorly literature is uh, sanskrit literature buddhist literature and jain literature this is the focus of the upsc sanskrit buddhist and the jain literature that they have asked and more are from the sanskrit and the buddhist literature then uh, painting say three questions and uh, classical dance so here the dance which is mentioned classical dance one question and two questions from the music then so these are the things which are there in the uh, question paper then let's go to the next one so now question source and type so source and type now you can see that em means essential material like basic books and what are the basic books tell me ha huh, ncert stick hai ya yeah, ncerts or the uh, state textbooks also they will come under this category then uh, RM is the random material and what is random material कहीं से भी पूछ लिया so in normal colloquial world will be saying that कुछ भी कहीं से पूछ लिया ठीक है then comes uh, EN ठीक है so essential news current affair related and the last one is the once again randomly read like a some website so see that these two that when it comes to solving the question from the random material and random read it is a difficult part. whenever the questions from will be there from this part so understand that this will not be deciding attempting this question will decide that your selection is going down and not attempting this question will decide that you will be there in the merit if the question is difficult then and generally the random material and the random read obviously it will be difficult then so here the main main imp most important thing hold your hand theek okay? hai to hold your hand and hold your greed to solve large number of the question because in this questions if you have the greed to solve the question you are going you are embarking on a wrong path then and remember always remember that these type of the question never decide the merit theek okay? hai that they they were affect the exam your your result in a positive way but if you attempt so it will do negative to you so you will have to hold your hand and already in the last session you have seen and in many sessions which are happening you already know the cut off in the last 7 8 years that what has been the cut off it is very low and in the very low cut off you don't need to go after 100% and that too 100% karna hai to make 100% in polity economy where the concept based questions are there not in the history there is a clear cut uh clear cut thing about the history you know it or you don't know it then so you know it or you don't know it and moreover uh, earlier people were dependent on the elimination method then and with the elimination so many things were eliminated and that's how upsc eliminated the elimination itself last year theek okay? hai so i remember that in one of the class maine kabhi bola bhi tha that it is expected that upsc will eliminate the elimination it's a old video and actually it happened i thought that ki आई वुड हैव सेट समथिंग एल्स अपने लिए कि मुझे दस करोड़ मिल जाते तो तो सच हो जाता ठीक है सो नो अंडरस्टैंड सो दिस इज वॉट इज अबाउट अब इसमें देख लो दैट वॉट आर द क्वेश्चन सो फ्रॉम एंशियंट सो दिस इज दैट एशियंशियल मटीरियल से छे एंड दैट रैंडम रीड थ्री एंड दैट देर इज नो फ्रॉम द इसेंशियल न्यूज एंड देन रैंडम रीड फाइव मिडीवल में द सेम गोज इलेवन थ्री वन थ्री एज यू कैन सी you yourself can see and art and culture so essential material 12 and then random material 8 and essential news 14 so scope of scoring goes up in the art and culture section theek okay? hai because that news wala part it's not difficult and generally people read and it's uh, almost matlab uh, it is disseminated and it is often told to you that this is what you need to read and this is what can come and moreover this essential news are also based on the static fact so that a good chunk of this essential material jaise 14 question diya hua hai theek hai to 14 out of the 14 8 will go into the essential material itself it was only in the news that's how it was classified over here so the chances of scoring in uh ancient medieval and art and culture chances of scoring is better in the in art and culture then what is that random read so random read is 10 many a times that culture related random reads you are able to solve 
एंशियंट मेडिवल के रैंडम रीड इज डिफिकल्ट बट कल्चर का रैंडम रीड इज नॉट डिफिकल्ट देन सो हाफ ऑफ इट यू कैन सॉल्व इट सो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन इज मोर देयर इन द आर्ट एंड कल्चर एज कंपेयर टू द एंशियंट एंड मेडिवल देन लेट्स कम टू डिफिकल्टी लेवल एनालिसिस एंड आई होप इट इज विजिबल टू यू ठीक है नीचे की तरफ है बट विजिबल होगा सो एंशियंट में ईजी पार्ट टू मेडिवल ईजी इज वन एंड आर्ट एंड कल्चर ईजी इज फोर then medium level so 3 3 and 15 and difficult level 9 4 and 25 consider it just that these all uh, the numerics which we have discussed over here consider is just a bypass theek okay? hai what's what's important that what you have studied and how many times you have revised no matter what then in ancient and medieval let me ask one question to you you will have to reply to me theek okay? hai that uh suppose that if they are asking six question from the ancient and medieval so how much would be good for you that if the question paper is difficult and six question have been asked from the ancient and medieval so then kitna question kar loge to tumhare liye there is a possibility that you will be there in the list yeah so if you correct three if you correct three and leave three correct three and leave three then your chances are there so if you are marking one incorrect so then you will have to go with the four correct theek okay? hai so you will have to go with the four correct and as you look at it no matter whoever claims and whoever says what that ancient medieval uh, section has been difficult if you score 50% you are a very good student in this section if you score 75% in ancient and medieval so then you are topper person in prelims अभी मेंस पे नहीं बात कर रहे हैं ठीक है एंड नो बडी विल नो दैट यू हैव टॉप द प्रीलिम्स देन सो 75 परसेंट सो इफ सिक्स क्वेश्चंस आर देयर एंड इफ यू आर एबल टू सॉल्व फोर क्वेश्चंस सो देन यू आर इन द टॉप देन सो टॉप 100 500 पीपल एंड देन इफ यू आर थ्री सो देन यू आर इन द लिस्ट उससे नीचे इट मींस दैट यू हैव नॉट डन द वर्क ठीक है फिफ्टी से अगर जो कम किया सो यू हैव नॉट डन द वर्क एंड ऑलवेज फिट इन योर माइंड दैट मेनी अ टाइम्स दैट all of the batches are completed and then you have asked n number of the question n number of the time and one repeated question always there that fact hai difficult hai yaad nahi ho raha hai so this exam itself is a difficult exam it's not a rocket science exam it's not a exam of the intelligence intelligence ka exam hai iit then so iit and the medicals then but then in this exam if you have embarked on the journey of the upsc so you will have to set a mindset and what is that mindset that no matter what i will not leave this portion and i will do this portion i will remember it so that tough determination comes handy to you not each and every time that ye difficult lag raha hai kaise yaad karu saans phool rahi hai then so that will not help you any way then so uh we'll see some other trends also agar jo isko follow karoge to maybe it will be quite helpful so let's come to so observations theek hai baad mein read kar lena isko then uh sources to be referred what is most important and i have always emphasized in the classes also chronology abhi class jab questions start honge so you will see that what was the importance of the chronology and how many questions they have asked on the chronology based so what do you need to remember in the chronology that exactly the date no not everywhere the period that if you remember the period then so the period and ek hindi mein word hai mota mote taur pe have you heard about it to mota mote taur pe agar jo periods yaad hain then so then definitely you are going to solve two questions in the ancient and medieval so for example so ancient history that there is a chronology which is given in this material itself and i hope you know where to download mujhe batana to nahi hai na so download kar lena and then will i i'm highly recommending dekho aise generally main nahi karta hu theek hai but i'm highly recommending main modern nahi recommend kiya maine tumhe but main ancient medieval tumhe recommend kar raha hu ki isko padh lena please do this exercise then it isme se kam se kam do question milna chahiye tumhe so uh this is the chronology that first we have started with prehistoric history and then indus valley civilization and then comes the maha janpadas then then after it so the other kingdoms maurya kingdom so what i'm saying that period mein kya yaad karna hai at least itna yaad kar sakte ho this much you can remember that 322 to 185 is the maurya period that's it then and the sequence of the ruler so the first ruler chandragupta maurya then bindusar then asoka then so at least these three rulers sequence yaad hai to 
एवरेज लाइफ इवन इफ यू आर नॉट गोइंग विद दैट दैट इतना याद किया एंड इफ यू डोंट हैव द आइडिया दैट वॉट इज द बेसिकली दैट टेन्योर ऑफ द अशोका सो एवरेज लाइफ एड कर लो सेवेंटी सेवेंटी सिक्सटी सिक्सटी ईयर्स एंड देन बांट दो पूरे पीरियड में सो दैट्स हाउ यू गेट द क्लोजर फिगर ऑफ द अशोका पीरियड गेटिंग इट देन सो नाउ नेक्स्ट वन दैट मौर्या एम्पायर एंड आफ्टर द मौर्या पोस्ट मौर्या फ्रॉम वन हंड्रेड एटी फाइव टू थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी देन द पीरियड ऑफ दोज डायनेस्टीज सुंगा देन कांडवा एंडो ग्रीक्स दैट एंडो साइथियन एंडो पार्थियन एंड सो एज द कुशक कुषाण एम्पायर सातवाहना महा मेघ वाहन डायनेस्टी सी वेन यू डू द क्लासेस कुछ डायनेस्टीज मिस हो जाते हैं कुछ डायनेस्टीज क्लासेस में नहीं कवर होते हैं डन एंड वॉट इज इज महा मेघ वाहना इट इज द खारवेला डायनेस्टी खारवेला यू हैव स्टडीड एट वन प्लेस और अनदर प्लेस बट देन इट इज दैट डायनेस्टी विच रूल्ड इन द उड़ीसा सो वॉट यू नीड टू सी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी बी सी से ठीक है दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर डायनेस्टी वॉज देयर एंड इट वॉज देयर टिल द सेकेंड सेंचुरी बी सी देन सॉरी सेकेंड सेंचुरी ए डी देन संगम पीरियड इन सदर्न इंडिया पार्ट सो थर्ड सेंचुरी बी सी टू थर्ड सेंचुरी सी ई दैट इज द संगम एज एज ऑफ द संगम असेंबलीज एंड देन आफ्टर द रूल ऑफ दो संगम डायनेस्टीज कंटिन्यूड इवन बियॉन्ड इट विच इज चोला चेरा एंड पांड्यास डन देन सो द रिमेनिंग ऑफ द डायनेस्टीज सो गुप्ता पीरियड थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी प्रिसाइजली थ्री हंड्रेड नाइनटीन टू फाइव हंड्रेड फिफ्टी and post gupta 550 to 750 and then the important dynasty after the post gupta is the vakatakas who were the contemporary of the guptas and there was a matrimonial reliance relationship between them with the uh, that chandragupta second's daughter was married to the vakatakas and then vardhana so vardhana is the which dynasty pushyabhuti dynasty theek hai so these chronologies so this figure you need to remember 3rd to 5th century theek hai aise अगर जो ये नहीं याद कर पा रहे हो तो 550 टू 750, सेवन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सो मिडिल ऑफ द वट एवर ऑफ द सिक्स सेंचुरी टू मिडिल ऑफ द एट सेंचुरी सो दिस वे द पीरियड्स यू नीड टू रिमेंबर सो नाउ इस सेक्शन में ऑब्वियसली इट विल बी नॉट लाइक द मॉडर्न एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड डायरेक्टली वी आर कमिंग टू द क्वेश्चन ठीक है सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन उसके पहले बिफोर आई गो इन टू द क्वेश्चन कुछ पूछना हो तो बताओ एनी वन हु वॉन्ट टू आस्क अ क्वेश्चन दो क्वेश्चन सिर्फ इंटरटेन करूंगा फिर उसके बाद एन आई गो इन टू इट ठीक है सो रेज योर हैंड नहीं ना बड़े अच्छे लोग हो तुम लोग पूछना अभी थोड़ी देर बाद ठीक है सो लेट्स गो इन टू इट सो नाउ बट नाउ टेल मी दैट इज दैट लास्ट ईयर पेपर यूपीएससी एलिमिनेटेड द एलिमिनेशन वॉज इट वॉज द एलिमिनेशन मेथड एलिमिनेटेड फॉर द फॉर एवर ऐसा नहीं है ठीक है so everywhere it will be there and moreover that last year hataya tha har saal nahi hatayenge theek hai and that would be there so understand if in the paper the elimination questions are coming automatically samajh jana that eliminate ho raha hai to automatically what you need to understand cut off is going to be up keep in mind so in that scenario what you'll be doing you'll be attempting less or more you'll be attempting more so see you will have to decide then and there only Then, कोई फिक्स मेथड नहीं है फिक्स आइडिया नहीं है कि कब कितना अटेम्प्ट अच्छा है कितना नहीं है इट ऑल डिपेंड्स ऑन द द टफनेस ऑफ द पेपर एंड टफनेस ऑफ द पेपर नाउ वट इज इट इज डिसाइडेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द दैट हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चंस गेट एलिमिनेटेड सो दिस इज ऑल्सो द क्लासिक केस दिस क्वेश्चन इज द क्लासिक केस ऑफ द एलिमिनेशन सो आई नॉट टर्न टाइम एंड अगेन आई विल रीड इट फ्रॉम हेयर ओनली यू कैन सी ऑन द बोर्ड सो द क्वेश्चन इज दैट विथ रेफरेंस टू द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द कल्चर ऑफ रिग्वेदी गार्यंस एंड इंडस वैली पीपल ठीक है सो ऋग्वेदी गार्यंस सो एक चीज हमेशा मतलब यू कैन कीप इन माइंड दैट वेन एवर दीज वर्ड्स आर कमिंग सो ऋग्वेदी कार्यंस सो देर मस्ट बी इमेज विच इज रनिंग इन योर माइंड दैट ऋग्वेदी कार्यंस के बारे में जो पढ़ा है सो दे केम दे हैव गिवन डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट द सेवन रिवर्स सो द इमेज मस्ट बी रनिंग ठीक है देन दे वेर वेयरिंग द मेल कोड्स एंड देन ब्रॉन्ज टूल्स इम्प्लीमेंट्स दे केम विद द हॉर्सेज चैरियट्स सो देन इफ अ पिक्चरिस्क मेमरी इज देयर विथ यू देन so always whenever you are reading this section so if you have a picturesque memory it becomes very handy and that's why that see that jaan bujh ke aise na bahut acha dikhne ke liye isko colorful nahi banaya hai the reality is that it is all based on the human psyche it is all based on the signs and it is all based on that how the human psyche psyche uh, behaves so whenever the colors are there whenever large number of the colors and the images are there our memory enhances then so that's why i am saying ki isko refer karna so now understand 
पहला ऑप्शन सो ऋग्वेदिक आर्यस यूज द कोट ऑफ मेल्स एंड हेलमेट इन द वॉरफेयर वेर एज द इंडस वैली पीपल डिड नॉट लीव एनी एविडेंस ऑफ यूजिंग दैम हैव वी सीन सो देर मस्ट बी वन वर्ड इन योर माइंड दैट वेन यू स्टडीड इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन we uh, studied about the upper town and the lower town have we ever mentioned any place we have mentioned that there was some sort of security god or something generally not only in dhola vira that's a prediction that the middle part of the town might be meant for the security guards and we have when it comes to that what we have found from the indus valley kahin se bhi koi tool nahi mila hai no weapon we have found if it would have been found suppose suppose if in your classes from wherever you have done from whoever you have done if in your classes you haven't written that anything about the weapons so does it mean ki uh, hoga isliye nahi likhwaya hoga so aise mein mat jana if weapons agar jo mile hote to kahin na kahin koi na koi likhwa deta koi na koi padha deta so if there is it is not there in the discussion it itself means that it wasn't there so and moreover when it comes to these mail codes and everything made from the bronze so these were made from the bronze actually theek hai so this is what was the speciality of the aryans but then what about the indus valley use of the bronze only in the sculptures and the sculpture that you already know dancing girl of the mohenjodaro so first statement stands correct now second statement is the one on the basis of which everything is eliminated so what is it agar jo Rigvedic Aryans knew gold, silver, copper, whereas the Indus Valley people knew only copper. And the last is iron. This is where the uh, the wrong information is there. Indus Valley people only knew copper. Then they didn't had any knowledge of the iron. When iron was discovered, Rigvedic time, and a conjunction of the early Vedic period and the later Vedic period, 1000 BC. the place was atranji kheda and jakhira in western up from where the iron was first discovered for the first time in india or for the first time in the world this metal came to known to the people so and when indus valley has ended by 1800 so this is a very kind of a generic information all of us know so now wherever two is there on the basis of it you can cut so then bacha do option bacha the last one rigvedic aryans had domesticated the horses it is clear that they came from the chariots then and they came with the horses which provided swiftness to their army you have studied about it then so and whereas there is no evidence of the indus valley people having aware of this animal so that is also a reality that indus valley people were not aware of this animal but then you know the year in which this question was asked in the background you know what was there there was this movie mohenjodaro uh, which was directed by uh, asutosh gowarikar then and in the movie Uh, the depiction was that uh, rithik roshan the protagonist of the movie now he is riding on a horse that gave a impression that indus valley people had a knowledge of the horse then that was a movie some elements would be fictional movie start hone ke pehle likha jata hai that these all are fictional real life se koi coincidence ho to usko real mat maan lena then so you need to understand that not everything in the movies would be real there would be dramatization and that's why people faulted on this and kindus valley ke logo ko bhi horses pata the but then no textbook has mentioned then there is only one thing which has been mentioned in the arya sharma ancient india that there is a place called sarkatoda and in sarkatoda uh, there was one uh, animal jaw which was found which seemed similar to the horse but then he was not the person who is analyzing the thing okay later on the same jaw was analyzed and then it seemed that it is not belonging to the horse and after scientific analysis it is belonging to the some other animal then so that is what is there so this is basically so in this valley's people were aware of this animal okay so what is written that domesticated horse there is no no evidence so no evidence so it stands correct so already you know that this is the answer then let's go to the next question so see that many other things we have listed over here you can use this information isko i bolunga ki aaj jitne question discussion hum kar rahe hain go home download it and do it today itself taki kal tak ye section khatam ho jayega and you just need one revision just before the exam theek hai so let's come to which of the following is not a harappan site then so not a harappan site just one minute 
So which of one of the following is not the Harappan side? Chhanu Daro. Tell me what is the speciality of Chhanu Daro? Ha, bead making, okay, industry. Moti bante the wahan pe. The necklace industry, ornament industry. Then coat DG. It was on the banks of the Indus River. Then and it was also one of the important town of the uh, this particular Indus civilization. Desalpur. Where is it? In which part? Have you studied in classes? You have studied. Gujarat and Gujarat me Kathiawad ya fir din Rajkot side. It is Kathiawad side. It is Kathiawad side, upper part of the Gujarat. So Desalpur is in the upper part, the upper cut which is there. So that is. So now, one very important thing. ठीक है? Go home and do all the sites of the Indus Valley once again. ठीक है? All the important sites which are there, the port sites and so as the internal sites. Then. So side say there has been two questions. Then moreover, what about the Sohogaura? So Sohogaura copper plate. It is actually Sohogaura is located in the Gorakhpur district of UP. And moreover, from here a copper plate was found from the Mahajanpad age itself, basically the Mauryan age, where in Brahmi and Prakrit, Brahmi script and Prakrit language, the inscription is written. So Sohogaura is not an Indus Valley site. Gorakhpur means UP, and UP is not the and which UP? Eastern UP. So Eastern UP is not the part of the Indus Valley. So this was an easy question. I would never say this was a difficult question. It was a very easy question. Pahela or Dusra. Both the questions were easy. Then let's come to Indus Valley ka next question. So next question, which, let me, so kuch uh, material we have incorporated and the sides, so sides have been mentioned as you can see. So, Sukta Jandor, Balakot, Alahadino, Desalpur in this part, as you can see. And Niche ki taraf, so uh, Rangapur, Somnath, Vaise Somnath was not the site name at that time. What was the name of the site? Okay. So, name of the site was the Veraval over here. And then Lothal, Ahar, Gilun. So, you can see the sites. And NCRT me themes in Indian history part one. The map which is given. NCRT themes in Indian history part one very first chapter the map which is given and the sites which are given in the NCRT that is the image that you need to master okay so master that image if you want to write you can refer it then then let's come to the next question so which one of the following ancient towns is well known for its elaborate system of the water harvesting and management by building a series of dams and channelizing water into connected reservoirs? So Dholavira, Kalibangan, Rakhigadi and Roper. All the sites are from Indus Valley. Okay? And moreover, it is difficult or easy question. Tell me before going into the answer. It is very easy question. 2021 mein hi, uh, that Dhola Vira was given UNESCO heritage tag. Okay? So UNESCO heritage tag, it was so much in the news and nahi bhi hota news mein, toh bhi it was an easy question because the radial drainage systems which were there and stone made reservoirs were created. In fact, there were two in the area of the run of Kutch and there are two streams of the water and these two streams of the water are called as Manhar and Mansar. Then, so Manhar and Mansar, dono streams is me likha hua hai, theke? material me hai. Then, to usse ek bar refer karna. I, matlab, we, ha, matlab, we have tried ki jo bhi important information hai, wo isme ho, tumhe likhne ki zarurat nahi ho. Theke? So, these two streams were bringing the water and uh, there was a gradient in the upcoming of the water. So this gradient was channelized, diverted into reservoirs. And these reservoirs were made from the rocks. Then, So in these reservoirs, they were obviously preserving the or wasting the water. So Rakhi Gadi is the only such site. And uh, Kalibangan is famous for the bangle making. Rakhi Gadi is the largest site of the Indus Valley and Roper is a one small site in the Punjab area of the Indus Valley only. Then, so in this particular material, further information about these all sites has already been mentioned. So Kalibangan, Rakhi Gadi, Lothal, Mohenjo-Daro, Hadappa. So you can further read. I hope you already know some of it. Then let's come to Maurya questions. So Maurya period. Meanwhile, koi or kuch question ho, to beech mein haath utha dena. Take a jabhi bhi ho, to bata dena. I'll give you the mic. 
so 2019 question in which of the following relief sculpture what is relief sculpture i think i have discussed in the classes but then fir bhi batao relief side of a mount steep side very good exactly something is both are correct but then explanation is that the relief sculpture are the one jahan pe dorsal part is not presented what is dorsal peat ka part so dorsal part will not be there only the front part it would be a 3d representation but only for the front part so in fact uh, durga puja okay in many such festivals in india and and in these festivals if the idols are created so are they complete idols or relief idols relief idols dorsal part is not represented so that is what is the relief sculpture then so relief sculpture then in which of the following relief sculpture inscription is ranyo asoka ranyo asoka means king ashoka mentioned along with the stone portrait of the ashoka it's a difficult question there isn't any doubt about it it is a difficult question and i would say very difficult question this much information is not available and moreover kangana halli is the answer that's a different thing but then even kangana halli does not comes under the major rock inscriptions of the asoka so when you are reading the major rock inscriptions of the asoka so then us list mein bhi nahi hai so then it becomes difficult and where it is mentioned so it is mentioned in the uh, history of early india uh, upinder singh okay and uh, it's a one source so before going ahead in last kal ki class mein bhi hum a uh, class mein discussion kar rahe the uh, about the upinder singh book only so upinder singh book uh, it's very relevant as far as the upsc prelims exam is concerned and very often upsc is has asked in last 4 5 years many questions directly from the upinder singh but then the question to you do you have the scope to read upinder singh at this time और इवन एक साल का भी टाइम है अगर जो ऑप्शनल नहीं है हिस्ट्री सो डू यू हैव द स्कोप ऑफ रीडिंग इट यू कैन रीड इट बट देन यू विल नॉट रिटेन इट इट्स अ वेरी बल्की बुक एंड मोर ओवर वेरी दैट दैट डेंस इंफॉर्मेशन इज देयर एंड एक्सट्रैक्टिंग दैट इंफॉर्मेशन इट सेल्फ विल टेक टू थ्री ईयर्स टू यू देन सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीड समथिंग एडिशनली ऑन सम टॉपिक स्पेसिफिक टॉपिक सो यू कैन रेफर उपिंदर सिंह but not the entire book you can read then so what you can do selectively you can refer you all can have that you can all, if you want you can buy but then that will kill time and abhi i know all of you who are here in this session sabko exam dena hai is bar theek hai rarely one or two people or 10 15 people jinko nahi dena hoga so at this time referring to any such bulky book will be the biggest mistake of your life then so you will have to save time dedicate the time to those sections where you can score better rather than being emotional on this particular factual aspect then so uh, let me tell you that one part which is not mentioned over here that this ranyo asoka question was asked in one of the upsc exam in 2014 theek okay? hai 2014 mein then so it was asked in capf exam of the 2014 and fir uske baad 2019 mein 5 saal ke baad they have asked it then so though it is a repeated question but then how many previous year papers will be doing that upsc ka kar rahe ho then you will do cds capf you can do one or two year but then if you go into the uh, last 10 years so it will become also very bulky so for one question it will be never suggested it is never suggested that you run after this kind of material okay so it is a difficult question and what you will be doing with this question leave it okay if you are wise enough leave it and if you are greedy enough so you will risk it then so now uh, nothing else i would say in this one then let's come to the next question acha ye to piche chala gaya so now who among the following rulers advise his subjects through this inscription dhyan se padhna whosoever praises his religious sect or blames other sects out of excessive devotion to his own sect with the view of glorifying his own sect he rather injures his own sect very severely so uh, the options which are given let's go into ashoka samudragupta harshvardhan and krishnadeva raya then so leave ashoka 
tell me that any such religious initiative of the uh, that samudra gupta or any such religious related aspect of the samudra gupta so there is one that uh, samudra gupta that he was uh, intense that he had intense devotion towards the hinduism he performed ashwamedha yajna also but then he was a tolerant ruler he supported the sri lankan ruler megh varman then megh varman to create the buddhist monastery at bodhgaya then so but apart from it there is no other thing so he is not harshvardhan he is also a generous ruler you all remember that harshvardhan he uh, organized two assemblies religious assemblies then one at kannauj other at the prayag then and these assemblies assemblies so it is wen sang who was giving elaborate lectures on the mahayan buddhism and in the last assembly harshvardhan what he has done that he has discarded his personal wealth and started to rule like a monk then then krishna devaraya considered as the most enlightened ruler of the medieval history then so medieval history and he was also the intense devotee of the hinduism but then nowhere they are mentioning about these all kind of stuff as far as their religious initiatives are there it's all out in public very general informations you all study from many sources even study from anyone all the teachers they will be talking about it okay that what is this initiative so it is ashoka's initiative and what is it can you identify that what is this line it is dhamma okay what is dhamma moral ethical code of conduct ab moral ethical code of conduct mein is line ko fit karo that what is mentioned so jo apne sect ki anybody who tries to praise his own sect by blaming others then is it a ethical behavior will you become great by saying that he is not great so that means that uh, obviously that this is not how you become great you become great by your great moves your great activities not by blaming others and if you are blaming others so that itself is not a moral ethical code of conduct so this will also come under the easy category question then if you are not able to solve it okay scratch your head that why you are not able to solve it then so give little bit of time and understand exam mein bahut sare situations hote hain and uh, directly blaming you is not right situations are that you are nervous then you are nervous your heart heart is pounding then it's running very fast and then you are sweating also keep calm theek okay? hai be that it's easy from my side to say keep calm but then that is the only option and how you can keep calm <laughs> yes take a long breath leave everything and take a long breath then ek minute ka ek long breath lo everything would be fine and read the question again then and then remember then always keep in the mind that no matter what then that i am going to solve it it with the pure dedication see half the battle is won everywhere when you are too determined in your mind then and you lose the battle when you lose it in the mind so you will have to win the battle in the mind itself then you further win the battle on the paper so keep this in mind and it's it's a difficult exam but it's not impossible exam and moreover aadmi hi clear karte hain so you will also clear so now let's come to the next question oh sorry there are some trends we'll see today aaj ancient kar lete hain and agar time bachega to in buddhism jainism also will go and tomorrow we'll go into the purely art and culture question so now let's come to the next one the site of the major rock edicts location in the state and this is 2022 question is it visible to you no so these are the major rock edicts which we have mentioned and what are the instructions what are the instructions of the asoka or ceremonies of the asoka which are mentioned over here so these are all the dhamma ceremonies which were there on the 12 rock edicts so question you see consider the following pairs the site of asoka's major rock edicts and location in the state of so dhauli is it easy dhauli where is it odisha you have studied about it ncert mein bhi aaram se mentioned hai dhauli elephant you must have seen the image also bahut bar bahut sari cheeze image ke through hi yaad ho jati hain so uh, dhauli rock cut elephant then in odisha and dhauli is the site where the kalinga war was fought and the river which was closer to the dhauli was daya river then so that is so that is a correct option uh, iragudi so 
Iragudi also it is a uh, that published thing that the rock edicts of the Asoka when you go into it so locations जब पढ़ोगे इससे related so then Iragudi is one of the location of the Asoka's uh, inscription and it is in Andhra so uh, the next one is that uh, Jogada Jogada in Madhya Pradesh Jogada is not in the Madhya Pradesh but it is in the Ganjam district of the Odisha and then the last one Kalsi so Kalsi is in Uttarakhand so ये सारा published information है यहाँ पे what you need to do mug up ठीक है so you need to mug up you that याद करना होगा and since as we established in the beginning itself कि rock edicts and inscriptions से question आते हैं एक दिन दे दो ठीक है रॉक एडिक्स एंड इंस्क्रिप्शन को पर याद कर लो एंड क्रिएट द फॉर्मूलाज टू रिमेंबर इट डिफरेंट नेमोनिक्स टू रिमेंबर इट एंड नेमोनिक्स मस्ट बी योर ओन किसी और का नेमोनिक्स कभी कभी काम आ जाता है बट देन योर नेमोनिक्स विल बी द वन विच विल बी हेल्पफुल आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज नेमोनिक्स हाँ कुछ फनी चीजें वो पहला वर्ड लेके बना लो एंड देन यू मेमराइज इट सो दिस इज अबाउट बट दिस क्वेश्चन आई वुड से सिंस इट इज फैक्चुअल इन नेचर it will be moderate to difficult question okay so moderate to difficult question the status is like out of the six question you have attempted three and this question will fall in the fourth question category okay chhe question ka hum scenario leke chal rahe hain aur chhe mein se teen to kar liya that was in the easy moderate section and then from moderate to difficult when you are moving the fourth one so this will come in that category then then the most difficult question i would say this one okay according to the kautilya's arthashastra which of the following are correct then and moreover that uh, kautilya's arthashastra though everybody talks about the arthashastra but then there is no possibility of uh, cl in classes also and even when you are reading in particular to go into the entire pages of the kautilya's arthashastra it's a book on the state craft public administration so even people who study public administration many of you might be having the optional public administration second paper mein you read about the kautilya's arthashastra but even there also this much description is not there then so this much description is not there in fact there was one more question i don't know it is given in this source or not mitakshara and daya bhag system theek okay? hai that is also a difficult question only the people who are in the profession of the law theek okay? hai they might know but there was very possibility and actually i asked when the question was uh, there in the paper i asked many friends of mine who are in the profession of the law and they were like this ki difficult hai ye then so <laughs> it was difficult then and people generally when they are studying the law so they study the contemporary law generally they focus on the contemporary law nobody goes into the historical law कुछ लोग पढ़ते हैं ठीक है या नाम पढ़ के छोड़ दिया नाम सबको पता है दया भाग सिस्टम मिताक्षरा इज देयर बट व्हाट इज देयर इन द दया भाग एंड मिताक्षरा इट्स अ इंटेंस स्टडी इज रिक्वायर्ड सो दिस क्वेश्चन एंड इसमें जो आंसर यहां पे लिखा हुआ है बी दैट इज रॉन्ग ठीक है ऑल ऑफ देम आर करेक्ट सो डी वन टू थ्री ऑल ऑफ देम आर करेक्ट बस इसमें चेंज करना होगा सो अ पर्सन कुड बी अ स्लेव एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ जुडिशियल पनिशमेंट ऑब्वियसली ठीक है सो अ पर्सन सो दीज ऑल आर द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट यू कैन एड इट एज अ इसको ऐसे मान के कर लो कि ये एक इंफॉर्मेशन तुम रीड कर रहे हो आगे कभी एग्जाम में आया इफ इट कम्स नेक्स्ट टाइम इन द एग्जाम सो देन इफ एनी ऑफ द ऑप्शन इज रिपीटेड सो देन यू विल नॉट बी डूइंग द मिस्टेक सो दीज टाइप ऑफ द क्वेश्चन आर मेर टू यू देन person could be slave as a result of judicial punishment and then so as the if a female slave bore her master a son she was legally free then so legally free meaning that she will no be no more she would be slave now the third one i'll give you one historical uh, that example of it so if a son was born to a female slave was father, fathered by her master the son was entitled to the legal status of the master son any historical case can you give me example Yes, Mahabharat. I would not say. I am history. Se pooch raun. So you have studied about it. Mahapadmanand. He was the son of the. Uh, he was son of the Kalashok, Kakvardhan. Then and what kind of son? Extramarital affair with the Padma. And then he was born with the Padma. And actually, why Kalashok was assassinated by Mahapadmanand or Kakvardhan was assassinated by the Mahapadmanand? The reason is that he was demanding that right legal status. Then. so right legal status which was not which was denied 
and that's how he was executed so actually this is the, inc the it is said that this is the incident which inspired uh, kautilya to go into the writing this particular thing that if the son has been fathered by the master then so then he has the legal that he has the legal rights as his the master's son so that is what is the inspiration behind this particular thing okay so that is the historical example so this is a difficult question better leave it then so <laughs> Let's come to the next question. With the reference to the forced labor, is it there? No. Now, is it? So, with the reference to the forced labor in India during the Gupta period, which one of the following statement is correct? And forced labor is already is mentioned as forced labor. So, tell me that what is forced labor? Forced labor का मतलब क्या हो गया? पैसे मिलेंगे? That is a forced labor, na? So just like that, uh, that police uh, people and then I say, but name nahi kar raho, hai? So, <laughs> so then what will happen? That ki kisi ki ghar pe that somebody's vehicle is there and they will ask ki, aaj apni gadi de dijiye, mujhe kaam hai, hai? But they will not pay for it. Then, matlab in number of the time it happens. So whenever that the forced things is there, then so payment would not be there. So forced labor. So it was considered as a source of income for the state, a sort of tax paid by the people, hai? And it was paid by mainly by the slaves. Then. So it was paid mainly by the slaves. I would say that this question was basically moderate to difficult category. Uh, the information was when the exam came, believe it. The exam came, nobody was knowing and in fact in the NCRTs it is not mentioned. Where it is mentioned only in the Upinder Singh. Then, so when NCRT is mentioned, it is a difficult question and moreover after it came, so then it came into everybody's class notes then and then it became an easy question. But then do you give the exam in retrospectively? Then you give exam prospectively then so this is what happens then that when exam mein aa gaya to easy ho gaya but exam ke pehle it wasn't there so this question is a difficult question it was totally absent in the madhya pradesh and kathiawad region of the gupta period empire it was actually absent nahi tha yahi pe practice hota tha in madhya pradesh and kathiawad area of the gupta empire the forced laborers were entitled to weekly wages jab forced labor hai to weekly wages kaise honge theek hai so when it is a forced labor, so uh, there are some parts that you can eliminate and this part can be eliminated. The eldest son of the laborer was sent as the forced laborer. Then, so jab koi forced that I will not go into the details of it. So this uh, is either you know it or you don't know it. Then, then let's come to the next question. With reference to the Gupta, period, Gupta dynasty in the ancient India, the towns of the Ghantasila, Kadura and the Chol were well known as forts handling foreign trade, capitals of the powerful kingdom, places of the exquisite stone, art and architecture, important Buddhist pilgrimage centers. So then, chalo, I'm just going to tell you something, take care, but it's not about the, I'm opening the floodgates that you must go and buy the stuff. This is a not a difficult question. The reason is that everybody knows that UPSC is asking, uh, asking that uh, this questions based on the ports. And Whichever important dynasties were there, then what all important dynasties were there and if they are sharing some sort of coastal area, so you must look at it at your own, you search the important ports of that area. And why I am said that I am not opening the floodgate that you go and buy the material. See, I will say that particularly there is a, uh, there are some materials which are one day materials which are there in the market, I am not uh, that specifically telling the name, but then I hope you know that one day there are many one day materials and they're listing the factual information. These all majority of the informations are there given then. So if you're not able to search it from there, this one day exam materials, they have this listed then. So ports of the Guptas, ports of the Chola, ports of the Pandyas, ports of the Kakatiyas, ports of everyone. Okay? So you need to remember those ports. So Ghantasila, Kadura, they were on the western side and then Chol, Chol was also on the western side and on the eastern side was the Tamra Lipti. That was the major port of the Guptas. Then, so port question and you can also expect last year bhi easy port question tha. Okay, in 2023, abhi, we are just going into it. So very easy port question was there and then port question you must be prepared for. So now, what trend you have observed till this point of time? One is the one abito chronology we are coming into. So one is the chronology. Second is the rock inscriptions of the Asoka. And the third is the ports. Then so 
चाहो तो इसको एक वन वन वर्ड लिख सकते हो जैसे एग्जाम के एक हफ्ते पहले जस्ट बिफोर वन वीक बिफोर द एग्जाम दैट इफ यू हैव टू रिवाइज सो यू कैन प्रायोरिटाइज दैट व्हाट यू आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज किसको ज्यादा फोकस देना है क्या छोड़ने से व्हाट यू कैन लीव एंड व्हाट यू कैन गो अहेड विथ डन सो नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द प्रेजेंट नेम्स हाँ मे बी दिस कुड बी ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन ठीक है सो वॉट ही आस्क दैट इज द प्रेजेंट नेम ऑफ दीज पोर्ट्स आर रेलिवेंट देन सो सम ऑफ द पोर्ट्स हैव सम मॉडर्न नेम्स सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल दैट द ओल्ड नेम ऑफ द पॉन्डिचेरी इज पोदुका ठीक है इज पोदुका देन ओल्ड नेम ऑफ द कावेरी पत्नम इज पूहर पम्पूहर देन ओल्ड नेम ऑफ द सो ओल्ड नेम ऑफ दैट वॉट इज द नेम तुति कोरेन इज थुति कोडी then it is a major port of india so old name is the thuti kodi and new name is the thuti korin and the old name of the musiri and the new name is also musiri both are there so that could also be one such type of the question but abhi tak aisa pucha nahi hai but then i cannot negate the possibility of this type of the question this could be a new type of question which upsc can ask then so for example that there was one more port of the gupta sopara okay and what could be the modern area of the sopara nala sopara very good exactly wahi hai then so nala sopara then there was one more kalyan and what is kalyan today's kalyan of the mumbai theek okay? hai so it's not the chadukya kalyan it is the kalyan port of the uh, guptas then so that is the same area so some of the names old names are continuing and some of the uh, that old names have been converted into the new names then so that could be one thing now लेट्स कम टू सो पोर्ट से भी रिलेटेड एक पेज पे कहीं हमने इन्फॉर्मेशन लिस्ट किया है दैट वॉट ऑल इंपॉर्टेंट पोर्ट्स वेर देयर इन दिस मटेरियल इट सेल्फ सो यू डोंट नीड टू गो एनी वेयर एल्स इसमें ही देख के काम चला लोगे आराम से हो सकता है सो टर्न ऑन द ए सीज सो इज इट टू कूल नहीं तुम लोग के लिए है बट आई एम सफोकेटिंग एक्चुअली ठीक है एंड दिस क्लास इट गोज एक्सटेम्पोर सो and this image so gupta empire by the end of the 4th century so as you can see that in this image itself uh, many things are mentioned acha brigu kach as you can see what is brigu kach in the today's time bharuj and that was one of the port in the old time and this is the road which is going to brigu kach to the pondicherry so that was known as दक्षिण पंथ ठीक है सो दक्षिण पंथ एंड मोर ओवर देर वर मेनी नेम्स ऑफ द पॉन्डिचेरी एक तो अरिकमेदू अनदर इज अ पोडुका एंड नाउ वट इज आफ्टर द अराइवल ऑफ द फ्रेंच इट बिकेम पॉन्डिचेरी देन सो नाउ लेट्स कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विथ रेफरेंस टू ठीक है सो विथ रेफरेंस टू द हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया द टर्म्स कुलदेवाप एंड द्रोड वाप डिनोट देन सो कुलदेवाप एंड द्रोण वाप डिनोट मेजरमेंट ऑफ लैंड इज द इन्फॉर्मेशन बट इट्स अ फैक्ट वन अगेन यहाँ पे कोई एलिमिनेशन का कोई ऑप्शन नहीं है ठीक है आई दर यू नो इट और यू डोंट नो इट एंड वट इज द सोर्स ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन वंस अगेन उपिंदर सिंह ठीक है सो सोर्स ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन वंस अगेन इट इज उपिंदर सिंह सो आई नो दैट बाई द टाइम दिस सेशन एंड द कन्विक्शन विल बी जेनरेटेड दैट वी विल हैव टू रीड उपिंदर सिंह ठीक है बट देन चलो दैट इज अप टू यू बट आई वुड रेदर सजेस्ट कि अभी तक अगर जो उसको रेफर कुछ नहीं किया है तो प्लीज डोंट डू दैट देन अदरवाइज यू डोंट नो कि कौन से इलाके से कौन से जगह से दे विल बी आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन एंड देन यू विल बी वेस्टिंग योर टाइम सो रेदर रेफर ओवर हेयर इट सेल्फ उपिंदर सिंह से ऑल द रेलिवेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू दैट पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट दैट पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक इज ऑलरेडी बीन इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर मटीरियल देन सो यू कैन रेफर टू इट देन सो मेजरमेंट ऑफ लैंड सो वॉट वी हैव इंक्लूडेड इन दिस वन दैट कि आगे पॉसिबिलिटी के बेसिस पे वी हैव इनकॉर्पोरेटेड दिस पार्ट that angula is also the measurement of the land the smallest division or smallest unit is the angula so angula is referring to the ungli then then hasta so hasta is referring to the hand then and then uh, adhwap drodwap and kullewap theek okay? hai so adhwap is 3 by 8 or 1 by 2 acre adha acre then and drodwap that to Uh, half to two acre that was called as drone wap and the kulle wap and the largest unit of the measurements was the pataka but in fact you see that in the old times that different device that different kind of uh, th uh, that objects were used for the measurement for example even agar jo kahin question aata hai that rice pod was also used as a unit of measurement is it true or false 
true rice pod was the smallest unit of the measurement in those times so what they were doing that one rice pod is the smallest unit and then many 10 rice pod so one standard unit and then after 10 ka multiplication is the bigger units so that was also one unit of the measurement in the medieval times it is the sikandar lodi who started the another unit of measurement gaje sikandari what we use in delhi jaise for example delhi mein kahin ghar khareedne jao to 100 gaj 200 gaj 150 gaj so what is this gaj gaj is the distance between the two the front and the back leg of the elephant then so that also became the unit of the measurement so in the old times this is how the measurements things were there so it is also a factual question either you know it or you don't know it but then there is no elimination method in it so इसमें से कुछ भी हो सकता है क्वाइंस भी हो सकते हैं जब पता ही नहीं तो इट कैन बी क्वाइन आल्सो इट कैन बी क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ अर्बन लैंड आल्सो इट कुड बी रिलीजियस रिचुअल आल्सो सो बेटर दैट डिसाइड दैट इफ यू नो सो देन ओनली यू गो अहेड विद इट नाउ द 2020 क्वेश्चन इट वाज अ इजी क्वेश्चन इट इज द क्वेश्चन ऑफ द क्रोनोलॉजी सो क्वेश्चन ऑफ द क्रोनोलॉजी वेयर इज द पेन सो नाउ सो नाउ लुक एट इट फ्रॉम द डिक्लाइन ऑफ द गुप्तास व्हेन द डिक्लाइन ऑफ द गुप्तास स्टार्टेड 550 they have completely declined theek okay? hai and what was the reason of the decline of the gupta huna is invasion so huna's invasion so decline started from the 550 and then until the rise of the harshvardhan harshvardhan's regime 606 to 647 before that his father and his brother were the rulers of the which dynasty pushyabuti dynasty and will tell you isme pata nahi question wo wala either ya to fir 2017 ke pehle hai Three questions has been asked from the Harshvardhan side. In fact, last ten year, me four questions has been there from the Harshvardhan topic itself. Then, so Harshvardhan time six zero six to six hundred forty seven. Before that, his brother Rajyavardhan, and before him, his father Prabhakar Vardhan. So they were the rulers. So between these period seven, so which of the following kingdoms were holding the power in the northern India? So Guptas of the Magad. So actually, when the Hunas invasion has happened, so the last of the dynasties of the Gupta or the last of the remnants of the Gupta, they have. gone to the bihar part then so that is around 550 parmars of malwa what is the that parmars of the malwa uh, who are they parmar they are the agnikul rajput and what is the time period of the agnikul rajput 10th century ad onwards then so which includes agnikul rajput includes the chauhan dynasty of the ajmer then and then uh, uske alawa parmars of the malwa and chandelas chandelas were not theek okay? hai chandelas were not Chalukya Solankis of the uh, Chalukya Solankis and the uh, that Pratiharas of the northwestern India. So these were the Agnikul Rajput and moreover their emergence Parmaras in the 10th century. So this automatically bahar ho gaya isme. Then Pushyabhuti of the Thaneshwar. So Pushyabhutis that's what we are mentioning. So they will be there in the list. Mokharis of Kannauj. Who were Mokhari? Mokhari. So Mokhari ruler Grahvarman. See many a times there are some stories are told in the classes. इसलिए नहीं कि entertainment अच्छा होता है. The stories, the purpose of the story that you retain the uh, information through the stories. You remember that uh, Harshvardhan's uh, sister, Rajyashri, was married to Grahvarman, and who was Grahvarman, ruler of the Mokhari. Then he was a Mokhari ruler, and his capital was Kannauj. And moreover, he was killed by Shashank God of the Bengal, and he captured Kannauj. Then so he this dynasty is there. then uh, yadavas of devgiri and then what else is there so yadavas of devgiri whose contemporary are they alaudin khilji ramachandra yadav remember invasion of the malik kafur automatically scope se bahar and matrakas of the vallabhi then so matrakas of the vallabhi were also the contemporary at this point of time yashodharman yashovarman then so these were the rulers so jaise kuch dynasties hain agar jo classes mein nahi cover hue hain so you need to just write their timeline like the maitrakas and then mokharis then kakatiyas then kadambas ganga gajpati then so these all dynasties and uske alawa bhi kalachuri theek hai in karnataka so these all dynasties you just total mila ke jo bhi class mein agar tumhare nahi hue hain or from any source if you are reading if it has not been done so just do this exercise then 10 to 11 dynasties and memorize their timeline just timeline theek hai nothing else then so now so this can be so what is eliminated so in this eliminated so uh, answer is 1 3 so 2 is eliminated and then what else we have eliminated 5 is eliminated so then the answer is before you so this was the easy question of the elimination periods yaad karne honge tabhi ye ho payega so we will keep because it is a 
दैट पब्लिश्ड इंफॉर्मेशन और वेरी जनरली अवेलेबल इंफॉर्मेशन देन देन लेट्स कम टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट सो हेयर uh for your information the areas of these all are mentioned and contemporary people so late guptas mokharis their area then this pushyabhutis then then maitrakas kalachuris then chalukyas and pallavas so these all dynasties which are mentioned and in fact kalachuris are the moving dynasty theek hai yahan pe location thoda upar dikha diya aur niche hona chahiye tha theek hai so they are moving dynasties so these were the contemporaries of this time then let's come to the 2021 question so significant places just give me one minute if any question is there so batao anyone ha give him the mic sir pura section leave kar sakte hai see if pura section if you are leaving theek hai kyunki matlab ye yaad rakhna to bahut zyada aapke notes mein nahi hai नहीं सी मतलब नो बडी इज नोट दैट वेन यू टॉक अबाउट द नोट्स ना तो ऑब्वियसली दैट इज नॉट द फाइनल दैट्स वाई वी से ना दैट यू हैव टू डू सम एन सी आर टी सर अर्लियर यू सर ना रोमिला था पर पढ़ लो सिक्स क्लास की सेवन क्लास की बट देन अभी 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 दैट बुक इज बिकम रेलिवेंट इन रेलिवेंट वाई इट हैज बिकम इन रेलिवेंट आई होप एवरीबडी नोज दैट पर्टिकुलरली दैट आई जस्ट डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो डीपर इन टू इट बट देन the books with a uh, hell lot of leftist orientation has become irrelevant then so basically those book are relevant from uh, where the questions are coming which has presented history as it is factual manner without giving the colors and what is color that the political in, uh, in uh, those political inclinations then so the colored text is now removed and uh, i'll tell you you will be saying ki maybe they will be they are asking more of the rightist tendency question the example is upinder singh itself who is upinder singh she is the daughter of the dr manmohan singh then so if her 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 uh, literature is been asked in the exam so please don't question upsc okay so don't question upsc that upsc is going into a right or left direction upsc is now asking those questions which are in the straight forward direction they are representing the fact and going ahead with the fact so wait for it क्योंकि अभी जो क्वेश्चंस तुमने देखे हैं इनके बेसिस पे दैट यू कैन कांट सी दैट यू कैन लीव द एंटायर सेक्शन एंड दैट वुड नॉट बी सो सी दिस इज दिस इज दिस इज व्हाट आई नीडेड टू से दैट इफ वी बिलीव ना दैट वी हैव टू लीव दिस सेक्शन बिकॉज इट इज डिफिकल्ट सो देयर वी लूज द बैटल फर्स्ट यू हैव टू विन इट दैट वी आर टेलिंग यू सोर्सेज द पर्पज ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर क्लास इट सेल्फ टूडे इज टू गाइड यू that if you are not able to do it from the normal sources so from where you will be further working little bit extra and then you can gain something and that's why we are emphasizing that what what i said ki notes jo kar rahe ho uske sath isko bhi kar lo theek hai do se teen question mil jayenge theek hai matlab that's belief and high belief i am expecting it will happen but nahi hua to ab mere piche mat padna so so that also can happen that maybe not they are not asking but har saal to aise nahi hoga na so so it is it is well researched material and then whatever we have incorporated into it it will lead you to solving some of the questions kabhi bhi khali hath nahi lautoge agar isko karne ke baad you are also asking some question sir abhi main is uh, abhi aise stage mein hu sir hmm ki sir uh, matlab maine teen sources kiye the lekin consolidation nahi hua jaise ignu ka maine ancient history ka kar liya sirf ancient history ka puch raha hu aur sir romila tha par offer liye aur ma बी ए बी ए कोर्स बी ए के सर टू बुक्स थी एंशियंट हिस्ट्री की और बी एच आई सी मतलब और फिर आर एस शर्मा भी ऊपर से और रोमिला था पर जो था बस उसको हाफ किया लेकिन सर कंसोलिडेशन नहीं हुआ एक बार भी अब मेरे को ये है रोमिला था पर विच वन यू हैव स्टडीड रोमिला था सेवेंथ और अर्ली इंडिया अर्ली इंडिया जो ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड पेजेस की तो उसको हाफ ही किया ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड पेजेस इन रोमिला था पर एंड इग्नो बुक्स आई थिंक इट माइट बी मोर देन वन थाउजेंड पेजेस इग्नो भी उतना ही होगा मतलब सर लेकिन कंसोलिडेशन नहीं हुआ है तो अब मेरे को एक कोई सोर्स करना है तो फिर अब मैं उसमें क्या कौन सी स्टेज सो सी दैट यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड सो मेनी सोर्सेस मतलब अर्ली इंडिया ऑफ द रोमिला था पर सो नाउ व्हाट आई सेड दैट इज अनफॉर्चूनेट दैट यू हैव स्टडीड इट बट देन दैट बुक हैज बिकम इररिलेवेंट 6 7th में अब कुछ भी ऐसा नहीं रहा पूछने लायक ठीक है सो लेट मी एड्रेस हिज क्वेश्चन सो दैट इफ यू हैव डन द अर्ली इंडिया ऑफ द रोमिला था पर So already it's a bulky book, and there are n number of the information. But then, as we mentioned, that factual informations which are there, 
the better factual information is available in the Upinder Singh. So if you want to study, since you have already studied a lot of material, yes, and एक बार मुझे complete करने दो. इस पूरे source में जैसे जो हमने research किया है, एक-एक question को ढूंढ ढूंढ के कि कहाँ से पूछा गया होगा, क्या possibility हो सकती है? हमने कहीं नहीं पाया. Nowhere we have found that they have asked question from the igno, except in the main stage, and that too in the history optional. So you must have her, uh, that uh, studied that uh, BA material of the uh, IGNU and MA material is also relevant in the history optional, but in the prelims paper, it's very rare. Then, so at the very first place, that source is not relevant for the the prelims course. Then, and uh, the second one, Romila Thapar, already we are mentioning that now it has been avoided. Then, so it has been avoided because wherever the colors are there, that has been avoided. Then. So, Romila Thapar, I would say it is unfortunate for you that uh, you don't need to revise if you have studied. So, if you really want to go, since you have studied well, go with Upinder Singh. That would be the one source and the final source. And in fact, if you have history optional, so then it is a win-win situation for you that if you consolidate through the Romila Thapar. But abhi jo time hai, jase maan lo tumhe exam dena hai, and it's only two months. So, it's only two months. So these two books will not come handy if you have not created any hand notes or your own handwritten notes. So if you have created your own handwritten notes, you can revise through. But then otherwise, go through the normal sources, read this one, and Arya Sharma with Arya Sharma you can continue. Thank you, sir. And sir, I agree. मतलब जो रोमिला था पढ़ता ना उसमें मतलब analytical part बहुत ज़्यादा था factual और मतलब prelims के हिसाब से relevant था. So that's what is the thing. ठीक है analytical part is more and what is analysis? Analysis is giving our own opinion and the doctrinated opinions. Then so doctrinated opinions whereby so since you are asking, so we'll tell a little bit about it. That see that uh, at the time of the independence there were many challenges and uh, since we just came out of the bloody history. ठीक है the bloody history and why we are calling bloody history because there was a hell lot of communal holocaust at the time of the India's freedom and partition. So then there was a the, the fervor in the government and the historians of that time that let's not irk the bad fact of the history. Okay? So we, I, we are not saying that it is wrong or right. But then uh, deliberately majority of the historians done and what they have done that they have avoided to tell the uncomfortable fact. Okay? And uncomfortable fact, there was this movement which is called as that history suddho, history asuddho. Then, and what is history suddho? Meaning that those, those only the positive aspects or the positive things would be written, but those uncomfortable facts, they were avoided. And when the uncomfortable facts are avoided, so the reality is that you don't get to know the truth. If you need to know the history, so you need to know both the truth then both the facts that is comfortable also and uncomfortable also. So otherwise your opinion is only based on the few things. So when uncomfortable fact is removed, so then what image about the British you will be building that itne bhi bure nahi the, okay? Bahut bure the. Then, so and, <laughs> and that's what is required. So that's what was the tendency at that point of time. But now, and now what has happened that so many myths were built on it and now there is an attempt to detonate those myths by bringing the facts which were uncomfortable also. Okay? It's not about uh, coloring society, polarizing society, but it's all about that history one must know. It must be left, we must be left off with the facts and we must be deciding that what was right or wrong, uh, any other person must not indoctrinate us that this is what is the reason. That is what is the reason. It must have happened like this. Then, so that must not be there. Chalo, we'll not go into that particular because that's, these kind of discussions goes into the very political direction. But I hope you have understood. Take it. Aage bade. Jo pooch rahe the poocho. Nahi padho. Unko chhod do. Take it. She also wants to be in isolation. <laughs> So, and she wants that koi mat padhe, koi padhe mat aur koi kuch baat mat kare. So, now, uh, uh, go ahead with these sources. And moreover, karlo NCRT, theek hai? That new NCRT is, uh, if you're doing it, so automatically, that's, uh, matab, kitna bhi difficult paper ho, 40% tak kar loge aaram se. And class notes se bhi ho rahe hai chiche, abhi you will get to know. Then, so now, let's come to the next part. 2021 question, abhi 
कम ही क्वेश्चन हुए हैं सो कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग प्लेसेस पेयर्स अच्छा पेयर्स पहले भी आ चुका है देखो सब लोग ये कह रहे थे कि 2023 में पेयर्स था यहाँ पे भी पेयर है सो नाउ कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग पेयर्स बर्जहोम रॉकट श्राइंस चंद्रकेतुगढ़ एंड गणेश्वर सो बर्जहोम इज इन इट इज़ अ पैलियोलिथिक साइट एंड मोर ओवर दैट बर्जहोम वॉज नोन फॉर न्यू सॉरी नॉट पैलियोलिथिक न्यूलिथिक साइट एंड बर्जहोम वॉट वॉज फाउंड ओवर देयर दैट वन पर्सन वॉज बरीड विद हिज सॉरी वन डॉग वॉज बरीड विद हिज मास्टर then so these are some of the findings over there but what do you mean by rocket shrine which particular uh, architectural piece we call as a rocket shrine pallava's architecture remember it is from the artan culture remember that evolution of the dravid temple and the rocket shrines were the mandapas of the pallavas and rathas of the pallava so shrine ka matlab hi ho gaya mandir then or religious place so barzhom was not a religious place it was a neolithic site then chandraketu gad so chandraketu gad is located in the west bengal in the gangetic delta and it is not known for the terracotta uh, architecture or terracotta related things so there are n number of the terracotta related things were there and it was somewhere there in the news in this particular year then moreover ganeshwar so ganeshwar is the chalcolithic site You must have studied about the many chalcolithic site, Ahar, Jilund, ठीक है, Kayath, Swalda, ठीक है, and Malwa, uh, Ahar, Banas culture. So Ganeshwar was the copper related site, and then more was chalcolithic. Me chalcolithic का मतलब ही यही है that chalco means the copper. Then so copper implements were there, so copper artifact part is correct. So only two are correct. That is the second and three, and Barzhom is not the rock cut shrine. So we'll say. not so easy question and then further we have added these all informations related to the sites so you can go ahead with it then these all sites and this everything and uh, then additional sites are also mentioned and as far as uh, it was your demand that i uh, remember in the classes that you have said ki maps ke through agar jo mil jaye to acha rahega so that's how the map is there and you can go ahead with the map also that where is barzhom gufkaral mehargarh then all those sites so these all are there in the maps also then let's come to the next question in which one of the following regions it this was the last year paper in which one of the following region was the dhanya katak which flourished as a prominent buddhist center under the mahasanghika located see uh, i would say this is a question of the intelligence i would not say it difficult if you have studied you all have studied about the uh, buddhism let me take you to the classes you are all from my classes na koi jo jisne mera class nahi kiya ho anyone a good number of the people theek hai so <laughs> and <laughs> so listen so remember that when we were talking about the buddhism division in the buddhism second buddhist council and what was the division स्थाविरवाद एंड महासंघिका सो स्थाविरवाद एंड महासंघिका देन स्थाविरवाद एंड महासंघिका इन 383 हंड्रेड एटी थ्री बी सी एंड बाई द टाइम ऑफ टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी बी सी वेन अशोका हैज कम टू पावर द डिविजन ऑफ दीज टू सेक्शन ऑफ द बुद्धिज्म इन टू एटीन सेक्ट इलेवन ब्रांचेज इन द स्थाविरवाद एंड सेवन ब्रांचेज इन द महासंघिका ठीक है देन अशोका कम्स टू पावर एंड ही रिकोगनाइज वन ऑफ द ब्रांच ऑफ द स्थाविरवाद थेरवद एज द ओरिजिनल वर्जन and rest of them are diverted ones so what happened mahasanghikas they shifted to which place andhra they shifted to andhra theek hai is pe dhanya katak ki jagah aur koi bhi jagah diya ho theek hai it doesn't matter if the mahasanghika is given so then mahasanghika seven branches they all developed in the andhra only nagarjuna konda amravati dharani kota dhanya katak so they all went into that direction and then mahayan buddhism developed in the andhra itself then so if you know the historical aspect of it yahan pe koi bhi site diya ho you can go ahead with the if the mahasanghika is given so you can go ahead with the andhra then so if that you remember so then you can solve this particular question theek okay? hai so this is the last year question and the other sects of the sravastivad and other sects like sravastivad and then other branches of sthavirvad 
so they all flourished in the eastern part of india then and also in the central part of india so some important one more map is there one more question of the 2023 easy question you all know then which with reference to the ancient south india korkai pompuhar and muchiri were well known so muchiri or muchiri whatever you study so is question mein that the uh, easiest one was the muchiri theek hai but then generally all the textbooks which are there in the market wo muchiri ko kya likhte hain muziri then z i r i so in this case you needed to read the hindi wala version and in hindi wala version it was written muziri then so if you have any confusion always do this exercise that look at the hindi wala version also and then you get the clarity so these were the ports then it's a easy one not much is to be talked about it so uh, in the next image some of the important ports are mentioned so important ports which are there so this is korkai theek hai and that is now today's time ha uh, nahi nahi uh, korkai is the that what's the name of the port uh, modern name i am forgetting theek hai right karai i am not uh, i am forgetting ek bar yaad aayega to i'll tell you then poduka arika medu and then uh, thuthi kodi used to be there over here isme likha nahi hua hai and urayur these are the sangam sites then at this particular place used to be there the pompuhar not every information is there in this one we'll update we'll update in this one and isme main add karwa dunga that what all sites are there i think they have forgotten sites were kept over there but they have forgotten so medieval indian history now timeline is given over here and this timeline you can go ahead with so this much you remember that third to ninth century was the pallava chalukya 6 to 12 pandyas so as the pala chola and then the rashtrakuta so their timeline you remember and also the important rulers who have been mentioned because lately last to last year that there were some questions related to the names of the rulers also then so some of the important rulers are mentioned if you remember the name that they belong to this dynasty so wo pair wale question mein question solve ho rahe the so let's come to the uh, after this timeline delhi sultanate a home kingdom sikh empire and then the question so 2017 just give me one minute which one of the following was the very important sea port of the kakatiya kingdom so this is this is what has been suggested to you that you will have to search it but this information i hope you have written in the classes and moreover it's a general information so marco polo who was one of the traveler at this point of time in his account when he has come to uh, that come to the warangal area and that was the kakatiya kingdom so rudrama devi was the ruler and in his account he has mentioned about this port that motupali was one of the that it was the most important port of this area and moreover he has also talked about that how wealthy rudrama devi as a ruler she was and he has highly praised rudrama devi then so a uh, port question so now you have seen three questions related to port theek okay? hai so now you yourself are is able to identify that what is the trend ki port ke questions hain then consider the following events in the history of india once again chronology the next question is the question of the chronology so now consider the following events in the history of india rise of the pratihar under king bhoj pratihar gurjar dynasty when it was founded 712 710 6 to 10 ke beech mein nag bhat was the founder theek okay? hai so nag bhat was the founder of the dynasty and then after uh, 830 ke around mihir bhoj was there and mihir bhoj we mentioned that or you must have studied that he was also called as adi varha then so adi varha and he is the one who initiated the tradition of the temple style which is maru gurjara style then so uh, what is the timeline king bhoj so king bhoj is the 830 ke around establishment of the pallava under mahendra varman what is his timeline 600 exactly 600 he was in the 600 he was the one who created uh, those rock cut shrines in art and culture also you have studied that under his uh, rule the temple architecture began in the south india and the rock cut shrines in mamandur were created by him 
that's the name of the place where he created mamandur in tamil nadu and those are structures which you have seen the images and everything then comes so he is in 600 then establishment of the chola power by parantaka so chola main line chola ruler theek okay? hai and when was the chola dynasty founded 890 by vijayalaya chola and parantaka was the next ruler so 890 it was founded he must be around 910 15 so you can estimate it and then pal dynasty founded by gopala 751 these all this is a easy information then so gopal so now you can arrange it theek okay? hai so you can arrange it according to the timeline so uh, what it has asked chronological order order from the earliest time the earliest time two and what is the two establishment of the pallava 600 theek okay? hai then four so four is the uh, pal dynasty founded by 751 so 600 751 and paran then king bhoj 836 and the last one is the parantaka 910 so this is also a perfect case so the chronology which has been mentioned earlier is maybe is uh, material maybe that will be helpful in solving this particular question theek okay? hai and class notes se bhi kar sakte ho isme but obviously everything will not be well written clearly written in the class notes you will have to apply your own mind and then you will have to bring out the information that you have already studied and memorized then so let's come to the next question ek trend hai isme don't go theek okay? hai now trend is and this is the new trend which i observed when we were listing these all questions then what is the trend last year 2019 mein bhoj was asked 2020 once again bhoj is there dekho isme question mein and ab yahan se beginning hota hai is type ke question previous year the question is there next year related to that dynasty that person that information once again a question is there then so four five questions i have identified in this particular in this particular type so now uh, look, at, look at it consider the following prayer uh, pairs so king and the dynasty nanuka and jaya sakti it's a difficult information i would say that generally people uh, read about the chandel dynasty founder nanuka then but then jaya sakti was his eldest son so he also belong to the chandela then second information is wrong but then ye to pata hai tumhe nag bhatt was the founder of the first was the founder so generally what is the tradition in the dynasties ki jo pehle ruler ya kisi bhi ruler ka naam aage continue hota hai so nagabhat 1 nagabhat 2 bhoj mihir bhoj 1 mihir bhoj 2 amogh vars 1 amogh vars 2 so as bajira 1 bajira 2 getting it so in the same dynasty these names get repeated louis 1 to louis 16 theek hai so <laughs> now you get it and who was the bhoj bhoj was also belonging to the this dynasty so which dynasty pratihar gujjar he was not the rashtrakuta and who was the rashtrakuta ruler danti durg amogh varsh then so they were the rashtrakuta so which all so isme pairs wala question hai so this you uh, see that this is the trend that bhoj has been asked earlier also and once again there is a second question on the bhoj puchho so again that there is the confusion bhoj parmar mein bhi the aur mihir bhoj the usme gurjar pratihar mein to this see that this is all about this generally bhoj is referred as uh, that uh, pratihar gurjaras only and then there is a additional name those who are which are there in the parmaras then so unko bhoj nahi kehte hain theek hai so that bhoj were different and there were additional names in front of them so that additional name if, if it comes so then it will be only then only it will be the parmaras not the uh, pratihar gurjaras but it's about the architecture of bhopal and also it will be parmars ha architecture of the malwa would be the parmar parmars yes bhopal would be the parmar theek hai but then malwa also include the nagore ratlam theek hai these all areas also so starting from here and then bhopal is the last part even the uh, that you can say that rear end of the malwa not exactly malwa theek hai thank you sir then then kannauj triangle so next question iske pehle tha so this question already we have seen and then 2023. See if I give you break, तो चाहिए ये क्वेश्चन कर लो फिर आई गिव यू ब्रेक बिकॉज आफ्टर इट डेली सल्तनत क्वेश्चन वुड बी देयर आई नो दैट सम ऑफ यू विल बी गोइंग होम जाना भी चाहिए बट ट्रेंड देख लो एंड देन उसके बाद ठीक है एंड इवन इफ यू आर गोइंग होम 
सो डाउनलोड इट एंड गो अहेड विद द पार्ट ऑफ इट ठीक है बट इन क्लास में कर लोगे तो ऑटोमेटिकली कुछ याद रिटेन होना स्टार्ट हो जाएगा कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग डायनेस्टीज In the beginning, when we have mentioned the periods of the dynasties, so you remember the periods, and then Hoysala, Gadawala, Kakatiya, and Yadava. So Hoysalas, 11th to 11th to 14th century, okay, till Alauddin Khilji's time, and then Gadawalas, they are also 10th century AD to uh, 13th century AD, okay. So Gadawalas, uh, Jaychand of Kannauj, and confrontation with the Prithviraj Chauhan's time, and so as the Muhammad Ghuri. then kakatiyas kakatiyas are also 11th to the 14th century ended with the tenure of the uh, muhammadin tughlaq and alauddin khilji has raided the kakatiya then then pratap rudra and so as the rudrama devi is also kakatiya and ramachandra yadava dynasty it also ended with the alauddin khilji so basically all of these are very closer to the alauddin khilji except gehdawlas theek okay? hai so three of the dynasties so what it is mentioned how many of the above dynasties established their kingdom in the early 8th century none koi bhi 8th century ka nahi hai theek hai and 8th century mein kya tha pal pratihar gurjar and rashtrakutas theek hai so it is it is a normal question so delhi sultanate ke ek do question dekh le then i'll give you break chalo do questions dekh lo and then i'll give you break so from delhi sultanate onwards the questions will be little easier see that since we have started from the ancient part so that's why that ye sare question ek hi saal ke nahi hai theek hai they are from the different different years so there is a combination and in this combination once you are coming so 50% would be normal or 40% would be normal which you can do easily and 50% ke liye ek thoda sa extra so when you mix it so then it becomes equalizer consider the following statements in the revenue administration of the delhi sultanate the in charge of the revenue collection was known as amil then so uh, it's a kind of information which many places you write right from the inception of the delhi sultan even till the mughal time amils were there then and amils were the one who were collecting the revenue then ikta system of the sultans of delhi was an ancient indigenous institution this is where you can apply your elimination technique what is the meaning of the word indigenous originated in india okay so ikta system of the sultans of delhi was an ancient and delhi sultanate is medieval it means that it is a hindu system dimag lagao theek hai if it is ancient so either it is hindu jain or buddhist system theek hai and indigenous institution emerged in india and ikta when we talk about the ikta delhi sultanate then so actually it is a medieval origin islamic origin and it emerged in the turkey so yahi isi word se itself it will be eliminated ancient indigenous institution if you are able to focus on this word wherever the two is there that you can remove okay and which of the following statement is above correct last one the meer bakshi came into existence during the reign of the khilji sultans of delhi no it was akbar who uh, created the position of the meer bakshi and commander in chief of the forces was called as meer bakshi okay so and moreover in the delhi sultanate time this is also that you have covered in the classes then so there were different departments of the military for example in delhi sultanate time diwane arij okay so diwane arij and created by balban then so that if it is flashing in your mind so then uh, you will be able to solve this question then let's come to apart from it there is a listing of the other informations consider the following statements so is it there no consider the following statements it was during the reign of iltutmish that chengiz khan reached the indus in pursuit of the fugitive or the khwarizm prince is it true yes yes and what is the name of the khwarizm prince jalaluddin mangarbani then so jalaluddin mangarbani it has been that classes may stories may you know that thing so jalaluddin mangarbani he seeked asylum with the iltutmish but iltutmish was brave enough he was intelligent enough to say no to him and that's how he saved the empire from the attack of the uh, chengiz khan so it's a right statement it was during the reign of the muhammad bin tughlaq that tamur occupied multan and crossed the indus which tamur amir timur then and the great grandfather of the moguls then so amir timur when was his invasion of india 1398 1398 and what was the timeline of the muhammad bin tughlaq 1324 to 1351 he died in 1351 then and in between who is there 
so virosa tuglak and after his death the arrival of the tamur has happened so this is a very normal information then then come to the third verse third is it was during the reign of the devaraya second of the vijayanagar kingdom that the vasco da gama reached the coast of the kerala this information was little tricky because not everyone will be able to remember all the dates so devaraya second his death happened in the 1446 he died in the 1446 and vasco da gama arrived in 1498 but then it is difficult to establish that what is the information so actually so second is incorrect ab isme kaise solve hoga second is incorrect and you can see in the option wherever second is there you can eliminate then and then first was correct so if first is correct and second is incorrect so then you can arrive elimination se isko kar sakte the difficult question nahi tha so this is the elimination technique question easy theek hai and normal information is given in this one then you can take break you want ya chale aage chale aage chale na ha chalte hain theek hai so bolo bolo so through the fall of the salov dynasty can we eliminate this third statement sangam salo fir tolov dynasty aati hai and kar sakte ho usse bhi kar sakte ho that the four dynasties of the vijayanagar that that very first one the uh, sangama then suluva tuluva and ha aravidu theek hai so the last ruler of the uh, suluva dynasty narsimha theek hai narsimha deva and then after the vijayanagar king the, sorry कृष्ण देव रायास टेन्यूर इज स्टार्टिंग सो अगर जो वो टाइमलाइन भी याद है तो भी कर सकते हो दैट द टाइम लाइन ऑफ दीज फोर डायनेस्टीज ऑफ द विजयनगर किंगडम देन एंड द वन विच वॉज देयर फॉर द शॉर्टेस्ट पीरियड ऑफ द टाइम वॉज द सुलुआ ठीक है सो लेट्स कम टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू का क्वेश्चन द रूलर्स ऑफ दिल्ली वैसे तो ये इंफॉर्मेशन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू रिमेंबर दिस इज नॉट अ डिफिकल्ट क्रोनोलॉजी दिस वन then with reference to the indian history which of the following statement is are correct so the nizamat of the arcot emerged from the out of the hyderabad state see this is also a uh, modern ye modern ka information hai we all mention when we talk about the carnatic or when you see read about the carnatic who recognize carnatic so let's look at this question maine page palat liya tha with reference to the indian history consider the following statements The first Mongol invasion of India happened during the reign of the Jalaluddin Khilji. मैंने तो पहले ही हमने पढ़ा. First invasion was there in the Iltutmish time. ठीक है? So ये automatically अब देखो connection. पिछले साल का question and next year question. Then information related to same Mongol invasion. Are you able to note the trend? That मुझे मतलब this is my expectation that maybe the questions were created in the same year, and then one question is asked this year and the other is. Uh, passed on for the next year then ha uh, pucho give it to him then during the reign of tab tak hum question padhte hain sir mm. is ja, mm. jaise is question mein hai but sir uh, mm. uh, is wale fact mein two matlab ke to conflicting facts aate hain ki Concept. first mongol invasion 1240 mein hua tha tar bahadur wala aur mm. fir kuch log kehte hain ki jo 1221 mein hua tha jalaluddin mangbarni ko jab chase kiya gaya tha mm-hmm. to indian territory mein nahi tha matlab but pakistani even, punjab see, तो यहाँ पे हमने लिखा भी है नीचे एक मिनट नीचे लिखा भी है एक एक्सप्लेनेशन में कि दे आर द कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग फैक्ट्स बट इवन द कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग फैक्ट्स इज नॉट कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग आवर आंसर ठीक है सो दिस हैज बीन टेकन इनटू द कंसीडरेशन एक बार एक्सप्लेनेशन को पढ़ना वी हैव रिटर्न दिस थिंग दैट सम सोर्सेज रेफर दिस एंड सम सोर्सेज रेफर दैट ठीक है तो कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग फैक्ट्स आर ऑल्सो मैंशन बट कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग फैक्ट इज नॉट कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग द आंसर ऑफ द यू and not conflicting the answer which is given over here so problem nahi hai and kabhi kabhi hota hai that some in modern i think we may, uh, they saw that question which was dropped so there are very rarely there are chances that the questions would be dropped but then aisa bhi hota hai that questions are dropped so let's look at this question so the first mongol invasion of india happened during the reign of jalaluddin khilji not right even if the conflicting fact is there then during the reign of the alauddin khilji one mongol azort marched up to delhi and besieged the delhi it was right and in fact uh, alauddin khilji has this uh, kind of that confrontation with the mongols so for short time delhi was besieged but uh, alauddin khilji got back delhi and then after many of the mongols who were captured they joined his army and when they joined his army but they were not totally loyal to him and when he was l- returning from the gujarat campaign they fled and they seeked the asylum in the radhathambore with the raja hammirdev that story you know which led to the story of the johar 
ठीक है एंड स्टोरी ऑफ द जौहर ओवर देयर इन द रणथम्बोर फोर्ट विच वॉज रिकॉर्डेड बाई अमीर खुसरो दैट इट वॉज एन एक्ट ऑफ ब्रेवरी ऑन द पार्ट ऑफ द वेमेन देन सो देन दिस इज द राइट इन्फॉर्मेशन देन मोहम्मद बीन तुगलक टेम्पररी लॉस्ट पोर्शन ऑफ द नॉर्थ वेस्ट ऑफ हिस किंगडम टू द मंगोल्स देन सो टू द मंगोल्स सो वॉट इज आस्ट दैट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट गिवेन अब इज द करेक्ट देन सो इज इट करेक्ट सो इसमें बी क्यों दिया हुआ है स्टेटमेंट वन एंड देन स्टेटमेंट टू इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट एंड स्टेटमेंट थ्री इज नॉट करेक्ट मोहम्मद बीन नो ही डिड नॉट लॉस्ट एक्चुअली नॉर्थ वेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ हिस किंगडम वट इज नॉर्थ वेस्ट पार्ट दैट ही हैड अ कैंपेन नॉर्थ वेस्ट ऑफ हिस किंगडम एंड वॉट वॉज द कैंपेन खोरासन एक्सपेडिशन ठीक है कुराचिल वॉज इन द तिब्बत पार्ट एंड देन खोरासन वॉज इन द नॉर्थ वेस्ट पार्ट सो ही वॉज गोइंग टू इन्वेड बट ही डिड नॉट इन्वेडेड ही डिड नॉट लॉस्ट हिज एरिया ठीक है सो ही डिड नॉट लॉस्ट हिज एरिया सो थर्ड इज द सो दिस इज नॉट अ मतलब विड नॉट से इट इज अ मॉडरेट क्वेश्चन एंड थोड़ा बहुत इसमें स्टडी रिक्वायर्ड है इन दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट देन लेट्स कम टू द क्वेश्चन विच वी आर रेफरिंग सो विद द रेफरेंस टू द इंडियन हिस्ट्री विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज आर करेक्ट सो द निजामत ऑफ द अर्कट इमर्ज आउट ऑफ द हैदराबाद स्टेट अर्कट वॉट इज अर्कट Uh, it is the capital of the Carnatic and Carnatic capital. So Nizamat of Arcot is related to the Carnatic, and who created Nizamat? Aurangzeb itself. You you study about it. Jabhi bhi kahi bhi bhi Carnatic ka discussion you start. So you study about it that in 1690 it was Aurangzeb who created the Nizamat of the Carnatic and recognized Zulfikar Khan as the first Nawab of the Carnatic. Then so it is he created. and he did not emerge out of the hyderabad because hyderabad itself was a province of the mughal empire and it for the commercial transaction political transaction or for the transaction of any kind of business it was kept under the purview of the hyderabad governor so that's a different fact not related to this one mysore kingdom emerged out of the vijayanagar kingdom is it easy then then rohil khand kingdom was formed out of the territories occupied by ahmed shah durrani who is ahmed shah durrani abdali is called as ahmed shah durrani so was he the founder of the rohil khand rohils were already there in india from very long time though they are the afghan origin people and original founder of this was the dod khan then so dod khan who was also known as ali muhammad khan way back he has come to india there was a political upheaval in afghanistan they came to the rohil khand area they occupied the area and small kingdom they have created and when abdali is fighting in india so they supported abdali against the marathas then so that is the case so uh, answer so answer that what it has been asked correct answer kabhi kabhi dekho that in this question correct upar bhi diya hua hai niche bhi diya hua hai sometimes they don't ask correct or incorrect on the top they ask it lower level and majority of the question they are asking the correct option after three four question upsc will be giving not correct option so then you will have to be careful that where the not correct word is written then so mysore emerged out of the vijayanagar kingdom and third information is also wrong so let's come to the next question who among the following rulers of the medieval gujarat surrendered due to portuguese ye to modern mein bhi pad chuke hain theek hai but anyways interesting is that ki he is not the same bahadur sah so this is just like that ki mohenjodaro movie and then sarukh khan is riding who is this bahadur ja image so bahadur sah zafar it is not the gujarati bahadur sah and the question is about the gujarati bahadur sah theek hai image misplaced ho gayi hai theek hai so now who among the following rulers of the medieval gujarat surrendered due to the portuguese then so you all know bahadur sah story you know invited to the boat and thrown out of the boat theek hai so that's how they captured it then so isko ab yahi hai it can be kept in the modern also it can be kept in the medieval also then then jitna aaj karna hai kar lete hain lagatar break ek hi bar mein le lena theek hai so half the questions i will do today and art and culture will be done tomorrow theek hai to ancient medieval aaj khatam kar lete hain and art and culture will do tomorrow theek hai will that be fine so according to the portuguese writer is it according to the portuguese writer nunis the women in the vijayanagar empire were which were empire were expert in which of the following areas then wrestling astronomy accounting soothsaying 
see this is the question which has been asked from the state textbook of the uh, andhra so state textbooks of the andhra not this information is available everywhere so even in the the new ncrts where the vijayanagar chapter has been given a good enough space wahan pe bhi kahin nahi mentioned tha and then apart from it uh, uh, that other ncrts theek hai wahan pe bhi kahin nahi mentioned tha so this is this is the question which is pure luck if you are doing it if you are correcting it so pure luck the only thing which can be the luck can go in your favor by thinking about that uh, vijayanagar ruler krishna dev raya and his uh, that uh, or that his initiative towards the women or basically how he respected the women he himself married a prostitute and in fact women were given very high status in the society so this is the generic information which everywhere it is mentioned so maybe isse hum derive kar sakte hain that if they are giving given equal position in the society so then they can be there in all the professions which are given to the men so that could be a derived information but then cannot be said with the conformity derived information sometimes can go wrong also who among dar lag raha hai na ab एंशियंट मिडीवल से आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू नो योर ओपिनियन एंशियंट बताओ बताओ आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू नो सी सर एंशियंट तो मैं स्किप करने वाला हूँ और मिडाइवल में ज्यादा क्वेश्चन नहीं है और कम क्वेश्चन भी आते हैं तो नहीं मिडाइवल से एटीन क्वेश्चन थे ज्यादा क्वेश्चन मिडाइवल से थे पहला पेज अभी दिखा दूंगा मैं मिडाइवल से ज्यादा क्वेश्चन सर हो जाता है हाँ बट देन देखो सी वाई आई आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन और हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर फीलिंग की लग रहा है डिफिकल्ट गुड ठीक है लगना भी चाहिए एकदम दैट इज द रियलिटी बट देन यू हैव द आइडियाज कि डिफिकल्ट को इजी कैसे बना सकते हो जब क्रोनोलॉजी का क्वेश्चन हर ईयर पे है तो वाई यू ऑल बी लिविंग इट क्रोनोलॉजी कर लो ना एक दिन लगेगा उसको स्किप क्यों करना कुछ पोर्शन सो दैट्स वाई वी आर हेयर ना दैट वॉट मतलब पूरा अगर जो नहीं भी पढ़ना है इफ यू डोंट वांट टू रीड एवरीथिंग एवरी डिटेल ऑफ इट व्हिच इज नॉट पॉसिबल आल्सो सो देन जस्ट डू द स्मार्ट वर्क देन दैट रीड द क्रोनोलॉजी रीड अशोका इंस्क्रिप्शन टू थ्री टाइम्स ठीक है पांच बार कर लो ठीक है एक कितना टाइम लगेगा एक बार करने में अशोका इंस्क्रिप्शन पंद्रह मिनट नॉट मोर देन दैट फिफ्टीन मिनट से ज्यादा सो इज इट टू कॉस्टली फिफ्टीन मिनट इज टू कॉस्टली एंड सिमिलरली दैट क्रोनोलॉजी मास्टर इट प्लीज डू इट chronology master it and rest of the rare facts will always remain rare and that will not decide your marks in the exam okay so do the chronology and that's why the things are listed over here so go ahead with that but then reality is that this section will always remain difficult then it will remain difficult there would be no denial in the fact that history ancient and medieval history will not remain difficult it will remain difficult then so now it's only the culture portions which makes it easier डूएबल ना जहाँ पे हमारे पास करने का सॉल्व करने का स्कोप थोड़ा बढ़ जाता है सो नाउ लेट्स कम टू द नेक्स्ट वन सो 2019 कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स सेंट निम्बार्क वाज़ द कंटेम्प्रेरी ऑफ अकबर सेंट कबीर वाज़ ग्रेटली इन्फ्लुएंस बाय द शेख अहमद सर सर हिंदी सी एक क्वेश्चन बीच में चला गया विच वन अच्छा दिस वन ओके श्योर 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 so who among the following last year ka question tha ye among the following rulers of the vijayanagar kingdom constructed a large dam across tungabhadra river and a canal come aqueduct several kilometers long from the river to the capital city then so uh, it is mentioned in the ncrts theek okay? hai this information is mentioned in the ncrts see that's why we say ki dekho ncrt it's that it's not about that you must be memorizing each and every fact but if you have read ncrt before exam the two at least kam se kam do ncrt then that arya sharma and satish chandra if you are doing so then just revise it three times it will not take much of your time and then your subconscious memory will come to the play and some of the information you will be able to uh, solve so devaraya one mallikarjun and veer vijay and virupaksha so these are the names of the different they are from the hoysala also and some of the rulers are there from the vijayanagar kingdom also so devaraya one who created this 24 km aqueduct from tungabhadra river to the कैपिटल सिटी ठीक है सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अच्छा सॉरी कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट निम्बार्क वॉज अ कॉन्टेम्प्ररी ऑफ अकबर 
and uh, Sant Kabir was greatly influenced by the Sheikh Ahmed Sir Hindi. Once again, it is a question of the Bhakti and Sufi, but question of the chronology. Then, so question of the chronology. You need to remember that what was the timeline of the Nimbark? It's an easy fact, 11th century, 12th century. So 12th century AD and he was the uh, disciple of the Ramanand. Sorry, no, Sri Rangam. Okay, Sri Ramanujacharya. So <coughs> he was disciple of the Sri Ramanujacharya who was then there 11th century and then after in 12th century he was there. So whenever you are reading, you remember that one such, uh, that text I have already uploaded to you, given to you. That ek page ka usme hai, Nimbar ka time period bhi usme likha hua hai, okay? So time period you must be knowing. Then Sant Kabir. So Saint Kabir was in the 14th century and then uh, Sheikh Ahmed Sarvhindi was in the 15th century. So he is a, a Sufi saint. Sheikh Ahmed Sarhindi was a Sufi saint and he was in the 15th century. So Isme, none of them are correct. And this is a factual information, which is by reading that it is there in majority of the text then and in the classes also it is done. So what to make it proper or to make it easier for you that you must not have to wander here and there. I have listed once again over here everything. Okay? So you can refer to this material. Nahi padhana NCRT chhod dena, okay? But then refer to this particular part. Okay? Isko revise karlo, teen se char bar kaam ho jayega. So all of them we have mentioned the timeline and also some of their important contributions. See, I did not said once again. I am emphasizing. I did not said to you that ki modern wala karlo, because modern mein aisa kuch bhi nahi tha jo tumhare liye padha nahi ho. But in this one, there is a good research, very good research, which will come handy to you. So. And then even the women saint also. Jaise maan lo, ye ek section ho sakta hai. This could be, just one minute. So women saint. This could be one section from where they can ask questions. That male saints, they have already asked. But from the female saints, they may ask some of the question. So go ahead with this one. Then, so, so already we have mentioned that what you'll be focusing when you are reading the questions on the bhakti saints. So their philosophy, then origin place, the basic features, and who were the kings and the rulers, then and then apart from it, the regional influence, the contemporaries. So contemporary question has been asked many a times, n number of the time. So piche, jaise 2017 se pehle, agar jo 10 year paper me there were two times the question was based on the Dadu Dayal, and one two time there was a question which was based on the Tukaram and the contemporary question. So contemporary is one of the favorite question from the bhakti area. And in mains exam, they do ask different questions, not the obviously, pe nature change ho jayega. but then this is what you will be focusing once you are reading this particular uh, section. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, okay? uh, that's good. So, and <laughs> for example, Sant Kabir, oh, see, see that you know what happens that the material is created by one team and then there are other experts. So for example, that obviously that when they are searching Bahadur Sa, so that the, the domain expert of the editing, they have the knowledge of the editing, okay, pasting, but then obviously that teachers would not be there. So image kisi or ka place ho sakta hai, koi baat nahi. And that's why I gave you the example, okay, ki ye sab coincident. <laughs> so, which one of the following foreign travelers then listen so which one of the following foreign travelers elaborately discussed about diamonds and the diamond mines of india so tevernier is the answer francois bernier was also his contemporary and francois bernier has mentioned about the gold then he was also a traveler but he did not mention about the diamonds and tevernier has mentioned about the diamonds then so this is mentioned in uh, though sources but it is also mentioned in the Satish Chandra book also. So but then for your ease, just look at it. For your ease, please refer this section from this material. Then so during ancient period, all the and even mains ka bhi question yaha se solve ho sakta hai, The question which was asked in 2017 paper that Chinese Arab travelers, how helpful that how helpful are the accounts of the Chinese Arab travelers in reconstructing the history of India. Then, so then you could have mentioned something from it. So we have listed Megasthenes, Fahyan, Huensang, Marco Polo, Suleiman, Al Masudi, Al Beruni, Ibn Battuta, and then uh, in the Vijayanagar Kingdom time, Nicolo Conti, 
Abdul Razak, Dorte Barbosa, Dimant, uh, Domingo Pace, Nikitin, then Farnao Nunez, majority of the names you have heard. Then you just read in this material. And then Sir Thomas Rowe, Tavernier, and so is Francois Bernier and Nicolo Menucci. Okay? Iske alawa koi other traveler ki baat aati hai, that will be a difficult question. This is in this collection itself is one of the unique and it has all the things that you need in this exam. So please, you can go ahead with this one. Maybe this question, this kind of question can be solved with this particular material. Then, with reference to Mughal India, what is are the difference differences between Jagirdar and Zamindar? Ye to modern ka question hai. But then anyways, if it is kept over here, so let's look at it. So, uh, medieval ka bhi hai, modern ka bhi hai, theke? that Mansabdari system ke time se. So, Jagirdar were the holder of the land assignment in the lieu of the judicial and police duty. Tell me, is it right? This portion which I have read, is it right or wrong? Wrong. What was their duty? Military service to the Mughal monarch. They were given the land assignment due to the military service. They are maintaining the military of the Mughal monarch. Then, then whereas the Zamindars were the holder of the revenue rights, that is right, without obligation to perform any duty. Were they not supposed to perform any duty? They were performing the duty. Police duties also they were performing. So, pehla, dono statement galat hai. Theke? Both the statements in the first one is incorrect. Land assignment to the Jagidar were hereditary. It was temporary. And land assignment to Zamindar was, they were hereditary. So, is me ulta diya hua hai. So, opposite information is given. So, it is very easy question. Theke? Very easy question. You can solve it easily. Then let's come to next question is also easy. So now, abhi thoda bat comfort aega, theke? So now, <laughs> with reference to the medieval India, which one of the following is the correct sequence in the ascending terms of the size? So, kiske time ka ye division hai? Batao. Akbar's time. Subdivisions then. And different subdivisions. So, starts with the uh, Suba. Suba ke baad, Sarkar. Sarkar ke baad, Pargana. Pargana ke baad, Mahal. Remember? Mahalwari system, Mahal. Yeah, for then in Akbar's time already you have done the divisions. Then so and I have also in some of the classes I have mentioned ki kuch kuch jagah pe like Bengal and some parts of the UP there was another subdivision between Mahal and uh, that uh, Sarkar that was Chakla. Okay, so Chakla also used to be one of the subdivision. So this is what was the subdivision? It's a very easy question. Agar jo ye nahi ho raha hai, to fir then iska matlab ki medieval nahi kiya hai tumne. I hope you have studied. मतलब मैंने तो अपनी क्लास में कराया है ठीक है बट देन बाकी जगह पे भी सब लोग कराते हैं ऐसा किसी में इशू नहीं होता है सो देन लेट्स कम टू द नेक्स्ट वन सम पोजीशंस आर गिवन यू कैन रीड इट देन 2020 सो व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फ्रेजेस डिफाइंस द नेचर ऑफ द हुंडी जनरली रेफर्ड टू इन द सोर्सेज ऑफ द पोस्ट हर्षा पीरियड सो यू नो इट I hope you know it. And this question that I would not say it was difficult. I would not say it was easy. It was a moderate question. It depends that who has covered and who has not covered. So uh, generally in the ancient period, we don't mention about the Hindi, but then it's actually the tradition is from the ancient period, early medieval period. But then we have read at which place? Ha, we have read in the Bengal episode, Jagat Seth. So, Hundi was a kind of a check bill of exchange and different kind of Hundis used to be there at that, their time also. So, this is a 2020 question and moderate category. Then, this is difficult. Ye jo miscellaneous terms jo tha na, jo poochte hai. So, in the medieval India, the term Fadam, Fadam referred to clothing, coins, ornaments and weapons. Pata hai ya nahi pata hai. Okay. And where is this information mentioned? So, some of the articles, this is what we are calling as a random read. So, uh, if it is a random read and that to one time kisi newspaper ke kisi article mein kisi year mein pooch liya, bata diya. So, it's not traceable, not traceable. It's a, one of the most difficult questions, though the question is a small, but then the nature is highly factual. So, better to leave it than then doing these question. Then with reference to Indian history, who of the following were known as known as Kula Dara? Okay? So Kuldara. Kuldara. That's what is the uh just say English mega pronunciation nahi samaj mein aara, Please read it in Hindi. So in Hindi it will be written as the Kuldara. Then and Arab merchants, calendars, and the 
Persian calligraphist and the Sayyids. So this is also 2022 question and uh, mentioned on the VD Mahajan page number 364. Have you heard his name? This VD Mahajan, those who have the history optional only they understand, they know. And there are two books of the VD Mahajan then. So it is mentioned over there, but then it's a difficult one. Sayyids were called as the Kuladara then. So Kuladara and in fact Sayyid were, uh, they claimed that they have the lineage from the Prophet and actually lineage from the Prophet's uh, uh, daughter Fatima. Okay? So they considered that they have the lineage from the Prophet's daughter Fatima and they are highly revered and respected community in the Islam. In fact, they said that even when Amir Timur was attacking, so he always that his uh, policy was massacre of the general public, no matter who they are. But even in this general massacre, he never massacred Sayyids. Okay? And in fact, Khizr Khan was the Sayyid. Then, so uh, they were called as the Kuladara and Kuladara means that the holy lineage. Okay? So this is what is mentioned over there. Now comes the culture wala part. So should I go ahead with the culture wala part? Buddhism kar le? Nay, uh, at least 20 minutes. Okay, 7.30. 7.30, will that be fine? Chalo. So, now. Wait for 20 minutes. Okay. <laughs> so now, Indian art and culture. And, uh, achha, I hope you know about the QRM sessions. Is it that accessible to you? QRMs will start then. So I don't know that what is the st uh, that status of that, but whenever it will start, it will also come handy in quick revision. So see that whichever place at whatever stance you are feeling that the information is difficult, your revision is not happening. So we have uh, that we are going to start those things with which your quick revision will happen. So the fear will be gone in the coming 15, 20 days, and then you will have to build your confidence. Then, so. Uh, wait for it. Information will be disseminated to you that when it is going to start. Okay. So quick revision module then. So now let's come to the Indian art and culture overview. Kya kya hai syllabus mein that is mentioned over here then. And then. So let's go into the questions itself. So Buddhism and Jainism we are starting. So let's come to the 2017 question. With reference to the religious history of India, consider the following statements. So Tantrika and Samitya were the sects of the Jainism, Buddhism and which branch they belong to? Samitya and Sotantrika were there from the other side. That side Sravastivad, Sthavirvad. Okay? So Samitya and Sotantrika were the 11 branches of the Sthavirvad. And then Shravasti Vadin held that the constituents of the phenomenon were not wholly, wholly momentary, but existed forever in the latent form. Now, ye thoda sa sochne wala hai. So let's connect since you haven't studied about this one. So have you heard this Buddhist philosophy of the Chadik Vad? Chadik Vad. We talked about it. We discussed about it in some of the batches already. Kuch kuch mein chal raha hai. So kuch kuch batches mein we have already discussed. What is Chadik Vad? Everything is momentary. Everything is momentary. Momentariness of the everything. But then it is a general philosophy. But then Sravasti Vad, they maintained that the constituent of the phenomenons were not fully momentary. Meaning, ki sab kuch fully momentary nahi hota hai. Jo aaj dikh raha hai, abhi jis time pe, that whatever that is happening, uske kuch causes hamesha se rehte hai. So they are not always momentary. So this is how the Sravasti Vad, they differed a little bit from the uh, this particular original or the general philosophy of the Buddhism and the source of this one wonder that was India, uh, El Basam. And remember, especially Saat Sal, that Upinder Singh is the favorite and Uske Pehle, El Basam was the favorite. Then, and how many pages in the El Basam? Near about 2000 pages. Take it. And uh, 2000 pages and very uh, that uh, font just like the Upinder Singh and uh, moreover that so much of dense details are there. So, that is not suggest that method is suggest karunga that you go ahead with it. So whatever that was important, it's our work to extract and deliver it in the classes. So majority of the things are delivered, but uh, Buddhism and Jainism say jo question UPSC ko pushna tha AL Basam se already they have exhausted. We have checked, okay? Already they have exhausted. I don't find anything new in the AL Basam that they can ask right now, which hasn't been asked. So. The past year paper itself would be the revision of the AL Basam. 
ठीक है पास्ट ईयर पेपर सेवन ईयर पेपर इट सेल्फ विल बी द एंड टेन ईयर पेपर इट सेल्फ विल बी द रिविजन ऑफ द एल बासम सो सेवन यू आर डूइंग फ्रॉम हेयर थ्री मोर ईयर्स यू विल डू एट योर ओन आई होप यू गेट इट ठीक है सो इन दिस so uh, the first was not the sect of the jainism and it is very easy to remember the sect of the jainism already you have mentioned all of them are panthi there are few only whose name was different murti pujak and sthanak vasi were the different ones okay so now so there is this particular division part of the buddhism which is given i would say refer to it and this will further give you the clarity and moreover further value addition apart from what you have done in the classes with the reference to the indian history who among the following is a future buddha yet to come to save the world easy you read and you remember acha kaun se batch mein buddhism complete ho gaya so a good number of the batches we mentioned na 24 buddhas then and he is the last buddha that is to be awaited at this time so previous buddha was the that our siddhartha gautam and the 24th would be the this one okay so maitreya who is awaited he will be coming so future buddha avalokiteshwara already you know the lord who looks down with the compassion he is a bodhisattva and then lokeshwara another name of the bodhisattva is the lokeshwara and the padampani the lord avalokiteshwara is the padampani theek okay? hai the lord who is looking at the lotus flower with the compassion theek okay? hai so this question then uh, yahan se thoda bahut confidence aana chahiye tum logo ko <laughs> then <laughs> so with reference to the religious practices in india sthanak vasi sect belong once again it is easier so uh, all the sects of the jainism ke bahut sare sect hai nahi panch chhe sect hai we have already written so majority of them are panthi bis panthi mool panthi ter panthi guman panthi tota panthi so and there are two which are different that is murti pujak and sthanak vasi theek hai but still yahan pe also we have mentioned all the sects theek hai so then you can look at this particular part also then consider the following statements so this is the question ab ye question just look at it and the same pattern question was asked in the next year so what is this uh, 2019 question just one minute hmm. so consider the following statements deification of the buddha question was not difficult but then interpretation was difficult then so deification people understood different thing they removed the i from the deification and they understood it is problem of the english language and that's how majority of the people i remember that when the question came and log sir bada ganda question pucha tha to question ganda nahi tha so then you will have to see the hindi version of it i know that some of my friends who are there in the class they are from the they don't know the hindi it's obviously there is this is a impediment to them that they cannot read the hindi version but then that has to be done ki uh, there must be one option which must be given by the upsc in the prelims paper itself ki what must be the other language version so english ke baad tamil hona chahiye malayalam telugu and these all languages bengali odia because those who don't know the hindi for them this is a impediment then but otherwise jinhe hindi aati hai please look at the hindi version also so what was the meaning of the deification which was given in the hindi devatva ropad then so devatva ropad this is the exact hindi which was mentioned then so devatva ropad meaning that kisi ko devata bana dena making somebody as a god and which particular sect of the buddhism made buddha as a god mahayana then and trading the path of the bodhisattva where it is mahayana okay and image worship and rituals mahayana so all of them are correct related to the mahayana theek okay? hai so easy question ye fir then ab iske baad wala question dekhna this question was in 2000 uh, iske pehle wala listen 2019 and then the next question in 2020 before going ahead see the last one the deification of the buddha by mahasanghika getting it so question ek saal theek okay? hai same topic second year same topic the questions is little different but then the terms are repeated theek okay? hai so now look at it so sthavir vadins belong to the mahayan buddhism you know it sthavir vadins were the that sthavir vadin itself and mahayans belong to mahasanghika not sthavir vadin sthavir vadin mein kitne sect the 11 theek hai okay? and theravad was one of it which was recognized by the ashoka then lokottar vadin was an offshoot of the mahasanghika sect of the buddhism then so this is seven branches of the mahasanghika included chaityakas sailas and lokottarvad then 
so that is the part of it it is an additional information which you can add in your notes also then deification of the buddha by mahasanghika fostered the mahayana buddhism the right information theek hai so right information so sthavir uh, vadin pehla galat ho gaya and rest of the two are correct information so this is also normal question it is doable question so you can generate little bit of confidence then this is the repeated question ye 2020 2017 से पहले ऑलरेडी परिव्रजक हैज ऑलरेडी बीन आस्ट एंड सो एस द शमणा हैज ऑलरेडी बीन आस्ट दोनों पूछ चुका है एंड इफ यू गो टू द 15 ईयर पेपर सो थ्री टाइम्स दिस क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्ट उपासका हैज बीन आस्ट थ्री टाइम्स सो दैट्स व्हाई इफ यू आर लुकिंग एट द प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर ये भी सॉल्व हो जाएगा यू ऑलरेडी नो हु इज शमणा सो शमणा प्रीस्ट ऑफ अ हाई स्टेटस एंड प्रीस्ट ऑफ अ हाई स्टेटस और व्हाट वी हैव मेंशन द वन हु स्ट्राइव्स फॉर द एनलाइटेनमेंट एंड परिव्रजक homeless wanderer renunciant and homeless wanderer and upasakas are the lay followers of the buddhism theek hai so what they have asked correctly matched so correctly matched kon kon sa hai 1 and 3 shamanas are the one who strives for the enlightenment they are not the high priest who are living they are the monks who have left every such luxuries of the life they are not enjoying the high priest position so you already know the meaning of the shamana so only two are correctly matched easy question it is a easy question okay then question aaya with the reference to the cultural history of india which one of the following is the correct description uh, of the term paramitas then so in one day exam books okay that many such terminologies are listed so here also we have listed these apart from the paramitas we have listed all the other words okay which are related to it so you can go ahead ahead with it and what is paramita in the buddhism perfections theek okay? hai so perfections i would not say it was when it was asked it was not a easy question theek okay? hai but then it's a factual detail question but then aisa bhi nahi hai ki sources mein mentioned nahi hai jo hum padhte hain sources mein mentioned hai then so per perfections whose attainment led to the bodhi sattva path then so that is the paramita now the literature questions are going to start just give me one minute so i think uh that wait for one minute so where is it <laughs> so chalo let's look at the one question which is related to the literature is it no with reference to the yes so this is the question so listen so with reference to the indian history consider the following test text nitti prakaran theek hai so nitti prakaran and prakaran is it mentioned it is the prakirnas theek hai uh, see what happens that one book to another book little bit of changes in the writing happens then right? so those texts which you have written as the prakirnas are called as prakarnas then so prakirnas prakarnas and these are the apabrams of the uh, prakrit itself theek okay? hai so these are the prakarnas and prakarnas are the jain text then par prasisti parvan avadan satak and uh, trishasti lakshana mahapurana so what it has been asked that which of the above is a jain text will say difficult see it's difficult Either you know it. देखो एग्जाम में जब पूछ लिया ठीक है एग्जाम में पूछ लिया इट बिकम्स ईजी बट देन वेन इट वॉज आस्ट एक्चुअली नो वेयर इट वॉज मैंशन इन नन ऑफ द यूजल सोर्सेज इट वॉज मैंशन एंड बेसिक सोर्स आर एस शर्मा एंशियंट हिस्ट्री बट इट इज नॉट द एन सी आर टी बुक ऑफ द आर एस शर्मा वेयर इट इज मैंशन देर इज अनदर बुक ऑफ द आर एस शर्मा वेयर इट इज मैंशन सो इट हैज गिवेन एलिमिनेशन स्ट्रैटेजी बट आई थिंक दैट फॉर दैट यू नीड टू नो सम ऑफ द बुक्स देन देन लेट्स कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विथ रेफरेंस टू द इंडियन हिस्ट्री कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग पेयर्स हिस्टोरिकल पर्सन सी आई विल स्टॉप ओवर हेयर अभी हमारा आधा हो चुका है रेस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट आर्ट एंड कल्चर विल डू टू मोरो ठीक है सो इतने पे छोड़ देते हैं बट बिफोर गोइंग tell me if you uh, want to ask any questions related to it so any question is there ha de do ek bar mic de do sir ancient or medieval history ke topics itne vast hain ha agar facts ko dekhe events ko dekhe 
तो जब क्वेश्चंस पूछते हैं यूपीएस एग्जाम में तो वो टॉपिक हमारे लिए इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाता है और नेक्स्ट टाइम हम अच्छे से पढ़ते हैं उसको बट हम कवर तो नहीं कर सकते पूरे अच्छे तरीके से बिल्कुल नहीं बट प्रायरटाइज कैसे करें वाइल्ड रीडिंग एंसेंट एंड प्रायरटाइज देखो हाँ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन वॉट ही हैज आस आई होप यू ऑल वे आर एबल टू लिसन इट दैट वाई वी मस्ट स्टडी द एंशंट एंड मेडिवल हिस्ट्री इट्स अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन सी वाई वी मस्ट नो आवर पास्ट द क्वेश्चन आई आई एम रीफ्रेमिंग योर क्वेश्चन दैट वाई वी मस्ट नो आवर पास्ट इज देयर एनी नीड टू नो आवर द आवर पास्ट वाई टू वाई टू नो आवर फैमिली हिस्ट्री इट सेल्फ क्या क्या फर्क पड़ता है कि अगर जो मुझे बट आई फॉगेट द नेम ऑफ माई फादर forget the name of my grandfather i'm not mocking you i'm just telling you the answer of it then so history is like this only that if you don't know your roots so how you define your future how you define your prospects so first one has to know their history what has happened and what all developments have happened and moreover many of the time and majority of the time that there are the lessons of the future which are lying in the the history so for that you need to know and moreover that when we talk about ourselves so uh, what when we are talking about ourselves how we are defined or what makes our identity our culture our history is our identity and when we don't know our history and culture itself so where is our identity we are the personalities without the identities so it is important to know see i got your idea that the factual details which are there they, these are vast but the idea is that you can you you cannot know everything but at least you will be knowing something about your history so for example that i'll tell you one of the quote of the albert einstein itself one of the most intelligent person he can remember anything then and when once he was asked about that you are the most knowledgeable person in this universe then how you feel about it so i he said that i feel damn about it that i am not the most knowledgeable person you know that what is my knowledge that my knowledge is just compared that is just very similar to the small pebble which is on the sea shore this much is my knowledge theek okay? hai so you can't know everything but you know something what is important striving to know your past and that's who, how you create your future so it is important and moreover in administration jaise administration mein tum ias ban jate ho theek okay? hai you you are becoming the ias of the tamil nadu okay i guess in the sum of the district of the tamil nadu and when you are posted in the tamil nadu if you don't know the history of that place then the culture of those people so you will become insensitive to their culture insensitive to them and then you will not be liked by them and rather than doing the right administration you will be at the wrong place with the wrong administration so it's very important to know the history and in fact you have asked a question at the right time that history is the history to uh, history is the lesson to the polity the discourse of the polity is decided on the basis of the history and it is the history which not only has the lessons but history if it is not if those lessons are not learned from the history so history repeats itself then so it's important to know so it is okay we are uh, aware mm -hmm. of the political history and legacy of our history yes, yes. but ah. we have to ford the ce of upsc hmm. and there are number of terms in every dynasty in every Obviously, empire obviously that's why how can i consolidate consolidate during that's the what examination we, and that's what we discussed i think many of you must, must have figured out that's what we are maintaining from the beginning trends dekho wahi trend to bata raha hu tab se ki ek sab kuch nahi kar sakte jo kar sakte hain wahi to discussion kiya hai to usi ko karo i hope you are understanding hindi theek yes, hai so yahi trend hi dekhna and it's good that you ask chalo koi sawal to puch raha hai so then this is what we were discussing that is the agenda sirf ye bata bata dena ki iska answer a iska answer b iska answer c to wo to tum apne aap se bhi kar loge theek hai wo to tum apne aap se bhi kar loge but then what as a person who has experience in this field i am not saying ki bada knowledge hai maine tumse bhi bahut sikha hai aur sikhunga aage bhi that's what me and that's what you also must be that when you gain hell lot of knowledge in your life don't be too rude in your knowledge sense be humble to gain something all the time be open so i am also learning from you i have learned a lot from you guys then so understand this is what i am sharing my experience and then my observation about this particular exam trend ki ho sakta hai as a student ke angle se tum kuch aur dekh rahe ho aur as a teacher ke angle se main kuch aur dekh raha hu so those are the things which we are helping you ki kuch classes se kiya kuch yahan se kar rahe ho हो सकता है एक क्वेश्चन से भी फर्क पड़ सकता है ओनली वन क्वेश्चन कैन मेक अ डिफरेंस आई टेल यू सिंस यू हैव आस्ट 
I'll tell you that uh, when I was preparing and then obviously that there was one friend of mine and we were in some sort of current affair classes then. So uh, it was her very first attempt then. And then that year, that was the very first year of the CSAT and 2011, okay, 2011 and cutoff was 198. You know how much she got? 199. But then what was the rank? Rank second. Rank second. And then Ira Singhal, you all know. I hope you have heard about her. Cutoff was 205 and she exactly got 205 in prelims exam. And what was the rank? Rank 1. So even one mark, one ache number can make a difference. And understand, in the mains answer seat also, ache number say rank, B se 25 rank change ho jati hai. Your cadre will change, your services will change. So please don't overlook any of the section. Ha, prioritize the things, okay? Be smart. And this is what is the smart session, okay? This is not the session whereby uh, what is A, B, C, ye bata diya, ho gaya, okay? So this is what you need to, once again, you see that what we discussed in the class. And this is how all of you who asked about that, how do we consolidate in that less number of the uh, hours and the days, this is how you will consolidate. So one source, if you are asking, okay? If you don't want to study anything, last resort, I will say, kam se kam isko dohara lena. Is mein sare year ke questions to nahi hai, but patterns to hai. And from where the questions are being asked, we have incorporated in it. Research has gone. And I really appreciate that jitna hamari team ne research kiya hai ispe. Actually, it is the smartest piece available in the market in today's time. Then, so have faith in it. You have paid to us and then have faith in us that we are working for you. Okay? <laughs> Chalo. So with this note, I'm ending today's session. Kal Art and Culture. We'll go ahead with it. And Kal, you'll be breaming with the confidence. Chalo, good night.